With all of that said, though, let's uh let's get into it, shall we? Let's play a little bit of Ratchet and Clank, man. Rift apart. I'm I am super excited for it. We are, according to this, 64% of the way through the game, and uh, I'm hoping maybe we can finish it tonight. I don't know for sure, but we've we're, we're we're making our way through it fairly quickly. This is only what the fourth stream of it or whatever. So uh, yeah, relatively short game, but honestly, like I'm fine with that, man. I know some people get mad when games are less than 40 hour experiences or whatever, but like, to be honest, as a person that just doesn't have much time in their life, I don't mind if a game wants to be a, a reasonable length, <laughs> you know? Not every game has to be an 80 hour RPG. <laughs> as much as I love my 80 hour RPGs, it's okay to just have a short fun experience too. Alright, so we want to go to Sargasso, that's right. That's right. All I need is a good story and I'll be happy. Same, to be honest. Or or excellent gameplay, right? Because games like uh, Mario, for instance, they don't usually have much of a, a story in them, per se. Nothing, nothing exceptional, at least. But they're fun as hell to play. So they get a pass. <laughs> Bruh, the feels. Directly into the feels as soon as the game starts. Wow. Wow. They're gonna end up being best friends. Something's gonna happen, and they are going to fall in love with each other. In a purely platonic way. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Who am I to say? Maybe there will be some robot loving going on. It's possible. <laughs> So this is like our home world, right? That we went to fairly early on in the game, is if I remember correctly. Really yeah, we got the morts. We talk about this over some Rick and Morty. No. Rick and Morty, no. Lemonade is delicious. Like morts. one of the most delicious Nobody things in the world. The Ooh, a black hole storm? Yeah, we're definitely gonna check that out. Love. What is the best in life? Love, friendship? Nah, boy. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Where's the Where's the black hole part coming at? I was expecting more uh, black holey sort of bullets there. I don't know. I mean, it still looks cool, but I'm a little disappointed. Uh, we're just gonna go in order. That's what we've been doing. Why is the headhunter so much more expensive than the rest? Whatever. Buzzblades. Let's go. The sweeter it is, the better, says Rue. I don't know if I agree with you on that one. I, I, I like lemonade, but I, I prefer it kind of on the sour side. It needs to have sweetness to it. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Thank you for the resub love. Happy to see you made it in here, too. I love you, too, ya weenie. <laughs> Same here, and you're disappointed. Disappointed because there's not enough black holes. That's a... Uh, that's a thing. Oh, okay. That is not quite what I expected. Oh, that's right. I remember whenever we first checked this out, I said the same thing. <laughs> that's not quite what I expected. I expected it to be, like, larger saw blades, not, uh... Not, like, little tiny mini ones that kind of, like fly around like a like a golden stitch or, or snitch I mean I'm gonna turn down the game audio just a little bit here it looks like it's uh getting a little too high up into the yellow for my liking no black equals boring no no black no black holes equals boring I feel like we need to clarify some things here <laughs> yeah, Buzz blades is out of ammo that's all right we are going to try, I don't know, the the drill hound. We don't really play with the drill hound very much. Let's uh let's get some exploding dogs up in here. This is what we really need. Yes, and damn you autocorrect. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's more of them. Hi, more people. Uh we're out of dogs to blow up. Uh also asterisks there. Uh <laughs> Negatron Collider! 
Uh, okay, well, we died. <laughs> kinda. We didn't really die, I guess. Just kinda fell into the, fell into some nasty looking water there. Like I said, Noodle is at a uh, Super Bowl party thing. So I don't know how much she'll uh, partake today. I'm happy to see she's here, at least. Can, I'm trying to climb the tower. Stop shooting me. Can't a girl climb in peace? Also, we are, like, dying. Holy shit. Uh, okay, yep, we're dead. <laughs> That's all right. That's alright, we'll, we'll try again. Did we do we still have the new weapon, at least the buzz blades? We do. Good. Is truly the worst. Nobody messing with the morts. Save the morts, hashtag. Save the morts. I actually kind of really like this weapon, I'm not gonna lie. The buzz blade one? That's pretty nice, man. We gotta we gotta pay a little bit of attention to what we're doing though, because otherwise these lasers are going to murder us. So many lasers. Everywhere. Go away, laser bros. Uh, you know what we need? This is why we're dying. We don't have enough Miss Fungles around. What? What are you? Go away! Death incoming, be prepared. Oh, speaking of death incoming, we are like right in that laser's path, man. Jump! Eh, did we actually make it? I, I did not think we were going to make it out of there without getting hit, man. We are getting hit again, though. This is... <laughs> I've never been good at bullet hell -y type games, and this is quickly turning into basically a bullet hell. <laughs> well, yeah, that's because you have a, a Dr. Nefarious now that's not a dumbass running the show. Like, <laughs> now that it's not my Nefarious ruling the world. But uh, this dimension's Nefarious. Things are Things are tough. Can we? No, there's too many enemies around. I was hoping we could come back and get a little bit of, uh, get a little bit of health from them. Sorry, our, uh, our Glove of Doom bots are doing some work here, though. There we go. Everybody dead? Hey, we got a level up, too. Very cool. Huh. Tough. Jiggers is blocking it from taking off. First off, none of this was your fault. Second, leave the thingamajigger to us. Yeah. By the way, say hi to Kit. Hey there, Kit. Any friend of Rivet is a friend of ours. Um, hello. I. The Mortz's helper bot. Maynard the Mortz's helper bot. I don't remember these things. Well, I remember the secret bee. That was like the giant thing that was flying around, right? We had to, like, chase it down the first time we were here. Also, a chest with rupees. Yes. Aw, Kit is so cute. Kit is pretty amazing, man. Agreed with you there. Hi, little robots. Are the weird frog things attacking the robots? Are we on the same side? Uh, also, out of ammo already. Holy shit, the ammo never lasts long enough, man. We need we need little minions, exploding robot minions. <laughs> I love it. There's just random explosions of rupees everywhere. Because <laughs> these these little robots that are coming in are like one hit kill. And then we just got our glove of doom putting in some work, man. Why does the Emperor hate the Morts? Was there a reason for that? Or like... Nobody cares. Losing? Repeatedly? Oh wait, no, that was the big one talking. <laughs> Damn, is Panda Express normally this good? This is the first time you've ever had it? Man, back when I still ate, like, Chinese food because, uh, you know, the whole allergic to shrimp thing, I actually really like Panda Express, too. I mean, I think, like, a local Chinese place is usually better IMO, 
but Panda Express is still, you know, A+, plus, especially in a pinch. And for as fast as you get it? Mm, hell yeah. I don't think there's any way for us to get over there. Guess we gotta go the long way around. And Dr. Nefarious is getting whipped by his own other self, you're right. We gotta get all the secrets though. We'll get there. The morts are gonna be fine, I promise. Gotta collect all the rupees. Or sorry, rubies. Quote unquote. Wink wink, you know. Totally rubies, not rupees. Glove of Doom Go. And let's get some fun guys in here, man. Fun guys always put in some work. Honestly, I think the fun guy is my favorite freaking weapon. Like. Ah, oh, that's right. We also got the drone now. I forgot all about the drone. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> you adore this place by a mall called China Pantry. It's delicious. Can't say I've ever heard of a uh, China Pantry. I'm assuming it's a local thing for you. But pretty much any local Chinese place is A+. Plus. Like, I don't think I've ever been to a bad Chinese restaurant. Even the Chinese buffets that you see. Where like it is definitely the cheapest Chinese food they could possibly make. Or Chinese American food. Even then, delicious, you know? Like, <laughs> all that salt and MSG, it's just, mm, beautiful. <laughs> More than likely, they're fast, delicious, and rotate their food depending on the day. Hey, that's awesome. One day, I do want to go to, like, a real Chinese restaurant. Like, somewhere that serves actual, like, Chinese food, not Chinese-American food. Just to, just to experience it, you know? Because obviously I love Chinese American food, but uh, it'd be cool to try out like stuff actual native to China. Honestly, same. Hell yeah. I don't remember. It was an Asian country. I don't remember which one though. We were watching a recipe for, and it was uh, it was a uh, uh, coagulated blood stew or soup or whatever like that. Noodle thought it was a little weird, but I honestly think it sounded delicious. <laughs> I would eat the hell out of that. One of my favorite parts of steak is the, 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 the yummy coagulated blood. It collects up all the seasonings and whatnot. Ah, oh, it's so good. I want to try that soup. Very thorough, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you if you stop looking at all the the pretty shinies for a moment and uh, look at all the destruction around us, it is a little bit sad. <laughs> this is true, but uh, I prefer to just ignore that and pretend that everything is shiny and wonderful. Uh, apocalypse live. Please and thank you. And you know what we haven't used in a while? The executor. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, they're they're fighting the giant dino bud. That's fine. I'm pretty sure the dino bud could take care of those robots on his own, to be honest with you. Like the closest you've ever got was this one place called Itos in Florence and OMFG. You and Nana would go there weekly. It was so good and wonderful. Amazing service, quiet place, and nice relaxing music. The cook was from Japan, so his food was authentic Japanese. That's amazing, man. That would be awesome. TBH. There's a... I don't remember the name of the restaurant, but we do have a Japanese, not Chinese, restaurant around us. I don't know how authentic the food is, but I did eat there one time. And it was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty damn good. I would love to go there again once I know for sure that I'm uh, not going to die if I get too close to some shrimp. <laughs> He and his family ran it. It's just great. That is amazing. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so we want to take, I guess, the blast pistol. And just... This is... This is a thing that we're doing right now. Uh, no! <laughs> Shoot! Oh, that was close. Okay. Gotta get in this little tiny crevice. Stop grabbing the wall. We don't want the wall. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to shoot another one. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta clear it out a little bit more. Here we go. <laughs> what interesting looking Rubik's Cubes, guys. Oh, we got some goons for less up in here. 
Ain't nobody worried about no goons for less, man. Um, is there a way for us to like? That I'm I'm actually a little worried about it. Even though it's a goon for less, if it starts shooting at us, we'll have a issue. Like, <laughs> hopefully he just ignores us. Oh, okay, nope, not going to ignore us. Just gotta run. Okay, we made it. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> you like the name chain? Sorry, I was running the vacuum. Uh, that's an interesting. <laughs> that's an interesting Super Bowl party there, love. Running vacuums for for the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's one way to do it, I suppose. Nah, the she's at her mom's for for the Super Bowl, so <laughs> helping her mom out a little bit, I suppose. All right, all the rupees, please. Now that we've made our way over there, or over here, I guess. We're already at the goal, so over here. <laughs> Big booms. Blow it all to smithereens, boy. Let's go. Also, uh, I think that might be a little bit of a glitch. A couple, <laughs> one or two of those uh, rubies are just, just uh, floating a little bit there. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to work that way. You'll try that next time. <laughs> she works me like a slave. Oh no. The honey walnut shrimp is amazing. I don't remember what I tried. I think I usually just got the general so chicken because that's like my favorite Chinese American dish in general. Also, if these just keep spawning forever, then could we just like get infinite rubies here? Or will they stop spawning rubies when we blow them up? <laughs> Oh, we're alive. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so weird. Why do those ones just float there? Like it's a consistent thing that they're doing too. Anyways, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend all day blowing this shit up, but it's interesting. Hey Nate, what's up man? Happy to see ya. I hope your Super Bowl Sunday is going fantastic. I don't believe you do anything for the Super Bowl, but uh if you are, man, I hope you're having fun with it. We got a new costume. Should we check it out? We finished the robot costume. Um, oh, I didn't realize we unlocked head sizes, too. Yeah, we're going to turn on big head mode. I mean, <laughs> come on. Might look a little weird, but see if I care. That's cute. We'll do the robot disguise. Boots designed to mimic the weary shuffle of robots who live in Nefarious City. Damage from Nefarious enemies decreased by 20%. That is actually really good, man. That is really good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we look chibi. We look like a chibi character now with our giant ass head. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can leave this on. It's too cute. <laughs> oh man. That is great. It's so it's so weird. Get some let's get some fungus going. Fungus and little robots to do our living our living. Our bidding. Oh dude, there's guys over here. They be everywhere, I swear. You're having some French bread, pizza, and snacks. I mean, that sounds like a wonderful way to celebrate everybody else watching sports ball. Hey, five bits. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. Uh, hi, mean people. We'll just pretend you don't exist if you don't mind. You know what? How do you like a quad barrel shotgun to the face? <laughs> you had sushi and pizza? Everybody eating some pizza. Honestly, I'm pretty hungry. I did eat a little bit of food this morning, and Noodle was kind enough to drop me off a burger. So, uh, during the halftime show <laughs> of the stream here, which is just, you know, a five-minute break that I'm going to take in an hour or two, I, uh, I might run downstairs and grab my Whopper out of the fridge that was so kindly provided by Noodle. Noodle herself. Uh, I got a Gatling gun, too. Mine's a little bit bigger than yours. Well, okay. Not physically bigger than yours, but... Oh! There's a juggernaut. Hi, 
friend. Ow. Okay, we need we need helpers. <laughs> We're not doing this one alone. No. Oh, buddy, these guys are bullet helly as well hell. Where is ex ex executor? Ow. Okay. Jeez, uh, boy, look, I'm trying to do stuff, Mr. Nefarious Juggernaut. If you want to stop running away from my bots that are trying to bite your ankles, it'd be greatly appreciated. We are out of ammo. Do we have... Where is our... Our drone? Let's get some drones in here. And some bombs. Where are... Shatter Blast? Uh, okay. Too many pizza. Too many pizza. <laughs> I, I looked over at chat at the same time I was trying to say too many bullets. And the first word I saw was pizza. <laughs> you can't really have too many pizza, though. I mean, pizza is like a wonder food. Come on, just die already. You got 3% health. How about we try 0% health? Ha! Ha! Take it. That is satisfying, Kit. Very true. Pizza and chicken strips. Also wonderful, man. I really want steak. I've been craving steak something fierce. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I don't have any steak. <laughs> I'm going to have to make some soon. Ow. Did we at least collect the ammo? I think we did. Like I said, I've, I'm on a bit of a budget at the moment. So, like, I wasn't buying any, but now that income taxes and things are starting to come in, I still have to, you know, keep on a budget, because blowing all of your income tax money is a great way to be poor again. Uh, but, <laughs> but I think we can afford some steak for Noodle and I. So, uh, Noodle, I don't know if you can still hear me, but expect some steak and pierogies in our life here within the next week or so. Because that sounds like an amazing dinner. Now you just need some Kool-Aid, Nate. Man, I haven't had Kool-Aid in so long. I don't drink sugar, so... I don't know how Kool-Aid would turn out using, like, Splenda or something like that. I'd try it. Noodle wouldn't touch it, though. I can I can guarantee you that, but I would try it. Um, Are we supposed to blow this up? How do we... How do we... How do we do this? Okay, not by going in the water. That's <laughs> that's not how you do it. By the way, I guess who doesn't get a federal return this year? Oh, that sucks, man. I've been there, though. I totally feel you. Between uh, running my own business and some student loans and things like that, I, uh, I went a, a good few years not getting any returns and or having to pay them instead. So, yeah. Noodle likes for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, now that the helmet's gone, it looks even more d ridiculous. Oh, no. Oh, now it's Kit's turn to do the thing. This is cool. Tuition for you, yep. Nace says that's why he didn't get it. Yep, yep. Been there, man. Like I said, been there. It sucks, but it is what it is. I'm hoping if the... If the, uh... Streaming thing ever does take off for me. My plan as of now already is to hold on to at least 30% of all income that I make. That way at the end of the year I'll just have, you know, extra money for any taxes that I end up owing. And uh, if I'm lucky, I won't owe that full 30% and I'll still get a little bit of a return at the end of the year. But yeah, I mean right now, I'm, you know, it's not that big of a worry either way, but... Sooner or later. I didn't even notice that Kit had the big head now. Now that we're playing as Kit. Instead of, uh... Instead of Rivet. Uh, no, we don't want that one there. We want... Let's pick up this one. How does Kit hover? She just kind of does it. She doesn't have, like, a, a... Backpack or anything like the other ones do. Like Clank does. Electrify it? Yes. And then... We need... How do we switch again? There we go. What does this one do? That is not... Okay, that's the, the uppy one. 
We need something to turn them, maybe? Because going up wouldn't help here. So that's just going to float them into the void regardless. Like, <laughs> So we need to grab some more... Some more stuff. Is there one up there, maybe? Okay, maybe if we use an uppy one, we can go up there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm freaking blind, man. Put the uppy one right there. Wait. No, they were going straight before. Why are they going right now? I am so confused. Why, are, why did they turn? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Do you want I have rounds to extreme? You do not have pierogies. You meant the sugar thing is why you don't get Kool Aid. Oh, fair, fair. But no, it's all right, Nate. I appreciate the offer, but uh, keep your food, man. Like I said, I we're on a budget still, but I can I can afford to buy some steaks, though I do appreciate it. And we might have some pierogies left in our freeze. I don't remember if Noodle's still around. I'm sure she knows. I know we were running low on them, but uh, but I can't remember if we finished the last box of them or not. Pierogies are amazing, man. I absolutely... Like, it's one of my favorite foods, no doubt. Pierogies are just so freaking good. You don't really drink much with sugar anymore. I mean, that's a good thing, honestly. You honestly... You personally prefer Hawaiian Punch? Hawaiian Punch is good, too, but I, uh... I don't know. I grew up a Kool-Aid drinker. So this is another electrifying one. I don't think we need to go here. Maybe maybe this one? Okay, so that spins that around. Now all we need to do is find a way to get us up there. Is there a way that I can... Oh, I didn't mean to jump off! Is there, There's got to be some way to get up there, right? Like, where is... Oh. Oh, wait. How did I get another one? Oh, I took it out over there. <laughs> now they're all falling into the spikes. He's literally a positive reinforcement dude. Yeah. Gary's pretty great, man. Gary is a friend I would love to have in real life. Just... <laughs> so, wait. We got that spinner in there now. Hold on. What happens if we... Not there. Over... Send it over there. Okay, so this gets them back across. And then... If we take it back out of there, does that go back? It does. Bruh, how do I get this one to turn? I feel like we need to go up there, but I don't have any way to get up there. Can they trigger that platform over there? No. Do I have to? Maybe I just have to go over there and stand on it. Am I being stupid? I bet you I'm being stupid. If I just stand here... Does that work now? Oh, that lowers that one. So wait, do I have to like race over there or something? Okay, so I got it. I got it. What we got to do, we got to grab the electrifying thing. Put one there. Grab that one. Thank you. And put it on the other side. That way we can go across quickly, I say, as we die. And then put it there. Stand on this. Wait for it to go down and freaking bolt for it, I guess. Gary, our cat. <laughs> no, Gary, the, the bro. Ah, uh, man, we're still too slow. There's got to be, like, a way to get across faster, right? I know the, the spinnergizer could use some, some spinning. Wait, maybe, maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe they do trigger that button. Hold on, let's put it back over there again. Because I was expecting the, the that button to spin this thing here. I wasn't looking at the platform behind me. Yes! Okay. Yeah, we're just idiots. It's fine. <laughs> wonder how we would react to us saying... I wonder how he would react to us saying that. Wait, what? You mean... I'm confused. Oh, shit. I got to stand up there the whole time? Damn it. Okay. But that's fine. We should be able to grab that remotely, right? Or actually, I could just grab it, like, like now, right? Just quickly grab it and then jump up here as they're still kind of going over there. And then throw it there. 
Puzzles. We got it. Nate says you're the only one that eats steak here in just a small $5 pack with two okay size cuts in it. I mean, again, I do appreciate it, man, but it, it's fine. Eat your steaks, boy. I'll be picking some up uh, from the store here probably in a day or two, to be honest. Cause <laughs> Look at you, kid. You're doing work, work. Gary, our cat, he's a good boy. I wonder how he would react to us saying that, Noodle. We were talking about alligator here, Noodle. Stream doesn't read chat example 865. Our Gary is a very good boy. Stream doesn't think so, though. I'm still confused. I'm pretty sure I read all of the chat, and I am still very confused. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. I'm confused. I think we're talking about a cat. We might be talking about Gary. Or am I the good boy here? I really don't know. <laughs> oh, there's a wind thing. Freaking wind. You don't know who Gary the Alligator is? You need to pay attention to the stream more, Noodle. Gary the Alligator is that dude right there. The, the, the purple... The purple dude. Uh. Okay. So standing on that flips that. I didn't mean to throw that over there. Um. Okay. Let's let's go over there. Let's collect all the stuff first, because I see there's another another ball over there, and it doesn't look like I can collect that one yet. So let's go grab that one. Well, no shit. That's what I'm looking for, Gary. Okay, this is a weighted one. That's good. Uh, can we grab that one back now? Yep. And then throw that there. Wait, where's the weighted one? Oh, okay. We still got it. We still got it. We're okay. I just saw two people that have damn near a grand bet on the sports ball. Why, man? I don't... <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, okay. I understand gambling can be fun. I get that. I'm here for that. Um, I, I think it's a problem for a lot of people, though, and therefore should be done very carefully, but I, I understand it, though, right? I just don't understand people's obsession with the sports ball, like, at all. I know who Hot Gary, Gary the Snail, and our Gary is. Who's Hot Gary? We're all good boys and calling Gary the Alligator good boy. <laughs> a grand as in money? Yeah. It's literally a fifth of your tuition. You're jealous. They can be bet like that. Yeah, honestly, man. Insane, isn't it? I mean, and then you think of, like, uh, how much money... Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be standing here. Then you think of uh, how much money, like, you know, a billion dollars. Like, the fact that we have literal billionaires in our society. And then you really get angry. Like... <laughs> Uh, how do we get down? I guess we can just jump because we're not we're not them. All right, now now we got some puzzling to do here. So let's see if we we can probably lift this up right using the the feather one. So using the feather one. Oh nope, we can't slot anything in there. So we'll use the heavy one, and then being heavy should allow them to truck on through. Yep, and then we get to over here. Okay, but them standing on that makes it spin. So they can't stand on that once they get to here. Which means we need to use the feather to lift them above it. Uh, but there's... Nope, that's not doing the trick. Can we do the feather here? I think we were doing it too early. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now they'll land on the platform. And then now that they're on the platform, we use some electricity... To zap them across. A plus. Look at that. 2EZ. TikTok Gary. Oh, is that his name? Technically, doing it that way can be illegal in some states. Very true. I mean, if it's their thing, just seems a lot to drop on the game. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I just never understand sports ball. I'm not even, like, a huge esports fan, and obviously I love video games. Esports can be interesting to watch, but I have to be, like, in a mood for it. Uh... Although I guess some people you could consider like speedrun competitions esports in some way, and I do really like it watching that. But okay, we're gonna have to turn off Big Head. <laughs> it's just, it's getting too weird, man. Same here, honestly. Yeah. 
Big Head Rivet is hilarious. <laughs> it's just so awkward every time the camera kind of like pans in on them and her head. And then like the way that uh, Kit is just clipping into Rivet's head. It is funny, but I think we're going to turn it off. We're going we're gonna to go for just, just default head. <laughs> you like to play, but never been a big watcher. Yeah, same. I, I mean, even playing, I don't play a lot of sports, and I never played... Well, okay, I did play baseball in a in Little League, and then I did play uh, basketball in a church league. So, I mean, I did play a little bit, I guess, but uh, even playing, I didn't do a whole lot of outside of just, you know, me and my brothers and friends and shit like that. I would like to talk to you. Uh, you have nothing? We'll, we'll just, we'll just do, oh, wait, 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 we got to level up on one or two of our weapons. So, upgrade, buzz blades, no, apocalypse glove, ah, no new special unlocks. We'll still buy all the other junk, but. Increase the radius of explosion after agents expire, yes, please. I will gladly take it. Increase damage of explosions after agents expire, yep, we'll take that as well. Blast pistol should be done. Bombardier is pretty cool, but it hasn't leveled up yet. Lightning Rod, Void Repulsor, Fungi, and Shatter Blast. All that stuff's already done. Where is the Buzz Blade? Oh, it hasn't leveled up yet either. Shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. You like soccer? I've never played soccer. Like, in any sort of league or with friends or anything like that. I've kicked around a ball a few times. Kickball's fun. I do like kickball. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've never played soccer, to be honest with you. Noodle did all kinds of sports. I mean, there's nothing wrong with playing them. If you, if you, if you like, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, just, never got that into it, man. Team Nefarious? Well, I mean, one half of this team's really easy. You were the band kid? I never did band, but I did do choir, and then I hit puberty, and suddenly I couldn't hit pitch the same way anymore, and gave up on... <laughs> And gave up on uh, on on choir after that. <laughs> I love uh, Rivet making fun of Nefarious there. That was great. Ten out of ten impression. You did two sports and have done choir and media arts also. Was in Glee Club for a short while. I don't think my school had a Glee Club. I mean, we had like a a uh, theater. Right, we did we did put on shows and stuff. Is that what you're considering Glee Club, or do you mean like like something called Glee Club? We didn't we didn't have anything that specific that I know of, at least. But I wasn't in theater or anything like that, so I could have just completely missed the fact that we did. That's a uh, that's a real possibility. Uh, not this, not not that. Ooh. I always forget that we do have, like, a, a dodge button <laughs> that we can use if uh, if we were so inclined. Soccer is fun on the playground for me, but you always prefer dodgeball. Oh, hell yeah. Dodgeball is a ton of fun, man. Dodgeball is 10 out of 10 sport. Uh, Executor, maybe? No, I want some long range stuff. Blast pistol. Although, I mean, we're pretty, we're making pretty good uh, work of these, these robots. Especially, I guess, since it's just the little guys right now. Oh, okay, there's the big guys. Why don't you come down here and fight me and my agents. My glove of doom agents. Come to the ground. God, you floating freaking bastard. Believe it or not, your friend Jonathan was a golfer in school. We did have a uh, golf club at my school. I do know that. I don't know, like, where they went to do golfing and whatnot, but <laughs> but there was a golf club. But he was also the art kid. I was always jealous of the art kids, man. Just the, the fact that they could do art that well, you know? Because I, I doodled a little bit when I was younger, but I was never an amazing artist. Never uh, spent the time to get that good. But always a little bit jealous of the people that did, man. Oh, <laughs> blow it up, blow it all up. Hold on, getting a piece of chocolate. 
Today I'm eating what? What is it? 85% dark chocolate. It is VV bitter, but uh, <laughs> I kind of like it though. It's been growing on me the more I eat it. I do prefer something just a little bit sweeter, like 72% is kind of my sweet spot. Like I said, this 85 stuff, it's growing on me. You love choir and glee club, Nate? Which is an additional choir thing that did more dancing shows. Yeah, so, uh, like show choir then. Kind of. I think we might have had show choir, but I don't remember for sure. High school was a long time ago. <laughs> of course, I call it like a week ago a long time ago, so you know. Um, I'm a little iffy about flying on the hammer-headed dragon, but here we go. The other 15% is THC. No. <laughs> I I haven't smoked since I was like a teenager. I would be so screwed, man. Yeah, we definitely need to invert flight controls. How do we how do we do that? It said something. We press that button maybe. Settings. Uh controller? Nope. Game. Oh, I didn't realize there was difficulty levels. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just leave it on medium for now, but. Fire mode default, aim mode default, aim assist, auto aim, lock on. There's auto aim? Man, we could have had it on easy mode this whole time. Automatically target and locks onto an enemy when aiming. That's cool. There's all kind of assists for this game. This game would be great for, like, kids and stuff, too. If you turned on easy mode and turned on all this stuff. Or, uh, disabled gamers or anybody who generally just isn't very good at games. Like, automatically turns the camera towards the objective waypoint on button press. I actually kind of like that. Auto glide off. Auto pumping. We can turn on some auto pumping, man. Hover boot mode, swing mode. There is all kinds of freaking options, but you know what I'm not seeing? Freaking... How to toggle the invert. <laughs> Accessibility? Simplify traversal. Move all traversal accents to circle. This includes rift tether, swing shot, phantom death. Holy crap, there's so many options. Uh, all I want is a way to invert the flying. Wait, I saw flight assist. That's not what I want. Shortcuts and game speed? What is game speed? Play at 70% game? You can literally slow down the game? What? <laughs> what is this game? I had no idea all these options were here, man. They got hearing accessibility? Presets? Motor accessibilities? This is actually awesome, and more people should do this, like. But I'm still not finding how we freaking just, just invert the controls on this dude. That's all I want in my life. Oh, well, we're just, I guess we're just going to have to live with it not being inverted. <laughs> Which, oh man, it's really, is really hurting me though. <laughs> Can I? Oh, this is so bad. I don't know how to play. <laughs> Spyro controls, gross. I, I'm an invert player, at least for vertical. This feels so wrong. Well, you better figure something out, Rivet, or Kit, Kit, I mean. Use bombs to destroy the nefarious ship. Okay, where? Oh, they're all over the place, okay. Holy shit, they're all over the place. They're like literally everywhere. Which one's the closest? We're gonna die. We got this. <laughs> Mom said you need to learn to crochet so you can make little slippers for the cats. <laughs> or learn to crochet little slippers for the cats, I guess. 
That would be cute, though. Wait, how do I... How do I pick it up? Uh... Do I need to, like, shoot them? How do I... Oh, we died. We're dead. <laughs> okay, they're right, right there. I would love to. How do I grab it? I'm going as slow as I possibly can. Oh, my lord. Uh, pull up. Seriously, I'm, I'm like all kinds of confused here. I don't know how to get the bombs. We'll try a different one. Maybe this one over here will be a little bit easier to grab, man. Because <laughs> I am so confused. Square. Okay. So we just got to get close and hit square. I don't know why the square button never popped up before. So we just drop it on one of the shields then? Didn't it say there was like a speed boost button? That's the break. Oh. Okay. Yep. That definitely speed boosts. A little too fast, maybe. Throw it. Oh. Big boom. <laughs> At ours, there was show choir. The easy and fun one. Resistance. A renaissance choir. I thought you said resistance choir. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, man. Y'all were, were hardcore over there. Uh, you're about to be broken, bud. Brooklyn and tumbling. I'm going as quick as I can. Throw it. Uh, bomb me. Please. I see bombs. Just one of them. I don't care which one. Someone give me a bomb. Got it. Got it. Glee Club for fun and dance somewhat mimic show. You had all kinds of shit, huh? She asked Prissy if she wanted a pair. Did did Prissy reply? If Prissy replied, y'all might want to see a uh, psychiatrist or some sort. I think you might be crazy. <laughs> mm. Better than Star Wars. Luke ain't got nothing on Rivet. Uh huh. Did you see Kit just smile real big on her back? That was cute. <laughs> getting drunk on lemonade. Oh no. Come on, Rips, work with me here. You just okay. seem to have Go to the end of the level. Of we got head. it. Yeah, you could Damn see it, Nefarious! I fought a long time to win our galaxy back. Lost friends. My arm. The Emperor did that? Oh, uh eh, not exactly. So how did you lose your arms? I found a secret entrance into the Emperor's Tower. So I tried to sneak in. Alone. The door was right there. I didn't notice when a Nefarious's warbots was nearby. I thought I could run. I um Rude. Love you too, Noodle. <laughs> stopped. I got away before it could finish the job. Oh, uh, it was Kit. But I built myself this cool new arm, so it's not all bad. Rivet. I that's fine. Hey, look, an exit. Check this out. Kit stole our arm. Sorry. We forgive her. Hey, she didn't mean it. Sir Gasso's safe and sound. Well, 
like Gelatonium factory? Oh, good. We talked to Quantum and got a bug off of him. Guess you can listen in to the Emperor. <sighs> Let's meet at Zerkis. This might be our chance to get ahead of them. I still love the skating. This is like my favorite thing in the freaking game, man. The movement does feel like really freaking good in this game. Like, it's really, really good. It's like, uh, I don't know if anybody else has played Super Mario Odyssey, but it reminds me of Odyssey. Not, like, it doesn't feel anything like Odyssey, it's just in the way both of them just react almost exactly how you would expect. And it's fun to just move around in those games. Like, they spend a lot of time really, uh, really tuning it to just be perfect. And then this is when Kit goes rogue because she feels horrible. Let's hope not. Let's hope she can talk about her feelings with the group and then figure out that everybody, everybody forgives her. I mean, hopefully everybody forgives her. <laughs> Rit, uh, uh, Rivet could be a little salty about losing her arm still, but... I think her newfound love for robots may be enough to, to let her forgive. The resistance is fine. Uh, random dance party? <laughs> That's it. Where's the joy? The bliss? The murderous enlightenment? Why don't I feel any different? Because you equated happiness with success. And now that you've achieved it, life is meaningless. I mean, hey. He's not wrong, actually. As dumb as Nefarious is, like, he's got a point. I haven't really won yet. There are still so many other dimensions waiting to be conquered. Good luck finding them. Rivet Nefarious has a good voice. This is true. This is true. That's because you forgot the first rule of road tripping. Always bring a man. Oh no, the Lombaxes! They made a map. a map! The dimensional map! In the archives! He's going to Savali! You catch all that, Rivet? Got it! We'll meet you there! Bruh, is this how we find the rest of the Lombaxes? No way. It must be nefarious. The archives oh. held the dimensional map, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Rivet. Kid. Emperor Nefarious destroyed the archives. Bruh. We're gonna check inside and see if he got the map. The archives? Holy shit, we've been going an hour. Okay. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> we gotta take a short break. Before the uh before the audio ads start running. I mean we gotta get rid of them pesky pre-roll ads anyways. And I guess it'd probably be good to stand up, maybe have a, a little drink. So we're gonna take like a short two minute break and then we'll be right back, guys destroying more nefarious forces, especially after they fucked up the archive like that. No break for me? Well, I mean, like, that's fine, but then y'all are gonna be forced to watch an ad. Well, not you guys, because you're subscribed, but everybody else is gonna be forced to watch an ad in the middle of the gameplay. And I can't have that. I can't do that to my lovely followers who aren't subscribed, man. It's just not cool. It's not a nice thing to do. So, <laughs> so we're gonna take a break, regardless of what Nate says, and we'll be right back, guys. Ridiculous. <laughs> so I went to hand it back. She tried to bite me. Well, because you said bite me. Yeah, that's why. But it's fine. I permitted it. And yes, says the Doris lady, that is Norman Bates. That's insane, man. So uh, when do we start murdering people? That's uh... a... <laughs> Look at photo of dad. That's kind of heartfelt. I'm not hungry. I, well, I am. So eat the damn crackers. <laughs> Okay. So this is feeling a little, uh, a little white Lion Witch in the Wardrobe esque so far, you know. I kind of like it. And if you've been up to the cow, it's cool. No, I have not. I'm guessing that's where we should be going, though, to progress through with things. 
You had a lady slapping your pimp head and you almost walked away from her. Why was she slapping the pimp head? I'm sure you've told me at some point, but... Why do we have so much salt? That is an insane amount. I, I know he just said something about his aunt must have having a salt deficiency or whatever, but that does not explain that much salt. Also, is there a hole in this wall? Or, oh no, that's wallpaper that's torn up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Lady Mallory. If you wake Mama before her first day of work tomorrow, you're dead. But okay. Thanks. Is that my sister or something? Uh, I'll do what I want. Rude. Oh my lord! Whatever. Just get away from this lady. I don't like her. She got banned permanently. You adored working at Safeway. You just got bored after two years and doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Yeah, that's very true of retail, man. Trust me. <laughs> Speaking of uh, retail, though, not talking about retail, actually. Uh, <laughs> my side project has been going well. I haven't gotten to do a whole lot of work on it just because, you know, I've been busy and whatnot. But I did force myself to take at least two hours last night. I actually ended up being just a little bit over two hours to, to work on it a little bit. And uh, I'm happy to say things are progressing, you know. I have smooth movement over network now. So, uh, you know, when you're playing your multiplayer game, you can, you can move your dude. I can move my dude. And it's all good. And, yeah, I mean, it still has a long, long way to go until there's actually anything to, to show off, obviously. But... Uh, oops. <laughs> Might have clicked the, uh, the wrong, the wrong thing there once or twice. My bad. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. My mouse is acting up a little bit. It's got, like, Razer and Windows haven't been getting along, and it's been just, like, double-clicking and randomly clicking and shit. It's kind of, kind of dumb. But anyways, it's okay now. <laughs> we we made it to the right scene. Again, my bad. <laughs> just cuts to you saying, so when do we start murdering people? Good question. That's what the break video started saying. Like, right away, it did. It did. And I stand with Rue, though. That was a great question. That's always a good question. When are we going to start murdering people? In the video game, just to be clear. Don't need no, like, NSA agents knocking on my door. <laughs> All right, so now we get to do the same thing we just did with Rivet, but with Ratchet. You break it, you buy it. You break it, you buy it. I ain't gonna break shit, lady. Uh, except for myself, apparently. I didn't know there was a giant hole right there. So, okay. Gotta be, gotta be a little careful, apparently. This world's, like, falling apart or something, man. Go in the thing. Did we do this one yet? Uh, pocket dimension optional. I wish there was a way to know if we did it yet. I'm assuming, actually, since there's a thing up here, I'm assuming we did already do this one then. Yeah, it looks like we probably did. Okay. So, back down we go. Look what happened 10 years ago last summer. Doesn't mean I make sacrifices all the time. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened 10 years ago last summer? Can, can you can you say are you are you uh legally trapped from or blocked or or not allowed to say i can't find the words but like what the hell nate <laughs> i decay okay, man the irs might be on you Drew. when you're filing it wanted your agi from 2020 and the tax return you downloaded for credit karma gave you the wrong damn number oh that's not good i'm I'm sure it'll be okay. They might ask you to do like a corrected one or something. But uh, I'm also not a tax professional though, so nobody should ever take advice from me. That's for sure. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure everything will end up being fine. Except for maybe with Nate, because uh, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like he's got some sketchy shit going on over there. Or at least had some sketchy shit going on 10 years ago last summer. Might not be so bad now. Oh. What are you? 
<laughs> bone goons. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we have bone goons? Are the bone goons fighting the, the robot goons? They seem to die a little easily. Oh, nope. Okay, bone goons just fight everything. I don't think they have a preference. <laughs> Bone goons, not friendly goons. Got it. Uh, nope. Bone goons are also fast as shit. Holy hell. Go away, bone goons. Look, I just want to be your friend. I don't want to fight. But I will. <laughs> you heard him. The dead are freaking rising down here, man. <laughs> uh, I love that they just play into how ridiculous everything is all the time. Like, they know exactly what they're doing, and they're here for it. I love it. I'm here for it. Like, if you're gonna make a ridiculous story for a video game, just make the whole game ridiculous. Yeah, it got rejected, and you did fix it, but it was like half what you put in the first time, so you're concerned. That sucks, man. Apparently so. Nate, the fuck do you do? It wasn't fine 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm still a little concerned about what happened, though, Nate. You haven't actually answered the question. If you need help, blink twice. <laughs> That's convenient. I don't think I trust the random rift that'll let us inside. Oh shit, are we just like switching back and forth between the two people now? Are Gary and the monks safe? We'll find them. <laughs> they chose to drink the Kool-Aid on their own accord. Accord. You just happen to give what's left to a traveler? Bruh. <laughs> hey random traveler, you look thirsty. Do you want this po I mean totally normal Kool-Aid? <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. I was just getting ready to ask what we do. We wait for a uh, convenient elevator to show up. Got the undeads here as well. That moment when our nefarious is right nefarious. This is a flourish to mark the occasion. <laughs> hey Nate, we need to search your basement real quick, bud. Not looking for anything specific, just you know. Jugs of Kool-Aid and uh maybe a skeleton or two, that's all. Oh, not the void with all, sir. Fungus. Hi. Oh, I didn't mean to throw another fungus. That's fine. Can never have too much fungus. <laughs> Brownie and I do anything. I just get to chill now. Oh, don't fall down there. No worries, guys. We got this. What's the worst that could happen? Where? Oh, where? Oh, a juggernaut. <laughs> where is the juggernaut? Oh, right there. Fuck, I'm blind. Look, I don't know who this person is on my Steam list. They keep launching the same game over and over again. <laughs> I'm a little concerned for them. I hope they're okay. But apparently the game they're trying to play is not. Civilization. Sid Meier's Civilization is the one. Really good game. I love Civ, man. Never get to play it, though, because it takes so damn long to, to finish a match. But I do love me some great... Uh, 
some good strategy games. Uh, especially with friends. Good times. Ow! Mr. Juggernaut. Face my ankle biters. <laughs> to spread the Emperor's love? Yeah, about that. I don't think your Emperor knows what love is. What? You didn't say I gave the Traveler the Kool-Aid. You give the Traveler the other thing that drink the Kool-Aid. Wait, what? Hey, there was a dark portal with fire the traveler came from. I just got back there. Fa what are you talking about? I've been for this. I am very confused, Nathaniel. Wait. Huh? Gary! Hi, Gary. Oh, it's you. I hope you'd find me. Oh, sorry, coming back to one's body mid meditation. Oh, that smarts. That What's smarts? Is he secretly bad guy? He discovered I'd hidden the dimensional map in an anomaly. So he doesn't have it yet. No, but he's opening rifts willy nilly to get to it. It's only a matter of time before he's successful. So Ratchet. Good news and bad news. Start with the bad. Bad news, the Emperor's not here. Good news, we're with Gary. Hi Gary. You can get down there by activating the excavation towers. You can activate them via nearby pressure locks. Okay. We can do that. I wonder if there will be a way to explore both versions of this area. At the very least, I hope it's still possible to unlock everything. We're not, like, uh, locked out of collecting certain items. Because the, the world changed on us, you know? Ah, uh, undead. We get to fight the armies of the undead now here. Do I just have to stand on it? Oh, well, that's... That's easy enough. We got this. These undead dudes are actually pretty cool. I kind of like the design of them. You could make a whole game like this, man. <laughs> if I had nightmares, bone goons would make a regular appearance. Ah, what's wrong with a, an army of undead bone goon, goons, man? Seems perfectly reasonable me, to me. I think they're just misunderstood. I bet they could be some wonderful friends, man, if we took the time to get to know them a little bit. I mean, we're not going to, because they're trying to murder us. But, if we did, <laughs> we could all be wonderful friends together. We'll laugh about this in the future, I'm sure. Someone may or may not gave someone Kool-Aid, then gave the body to a dark being. All hypothetical, of course. Nathaniel, I think you need to speak to someone, man. These hallucinations are getting out of control. <laughs> Poor Clank. Uh, up. Let me up. Lay up, please. Does that boon, Bone Goon have a jetpack? I want to know more about the Bone Goon uh, world now. If these dudes have jetpacks, like, do they have, like, Bone Dude professors and doctors and, and scientists? Or, like... Did they steal them from another group of people? Are the bone goons like pirates of their dimension? These are questions I need answers to. Ow. I need health. Health me, please. Uh, okay, there's bone goons like everywhere. Holy shit. Ah! <laughs> Oh, yep, we're dead. <laughs> we're head to the ward. Activate the machinery, yes. Where... Where is lay machinery? There we go. Does Nefarious seem like the kind of guy that would have a big neon exit sign? No. Nefarious seems like the guy 
that would purposely make it as hard as possible to find the exit. Just so he can watch the people on camera and laugh at them and their dismay. Oh, Bung Dude's got guns now, eh? I don't know. I'm feeling like these are pirate dudes of their dimension. For some reason, I'm, uh, the more I get to know them, the harder of a time I'm having seeing them be, you know, like, the, like, where's the family man bone guy, you know? Although maybe that's discriminatory, you know? Maybe, maybe these ones are just a bad representation of what bone goons are as a whole. I should be more open-minded. Ah, okay, there's a lot of them. This gave you a good laugh. You did used to have a recurring dream of a door appearing in your basement as a kid. Sometimes it led to scary and other times just weird places. That's cool. I uh, did not. <laughs> I have dreams of creepy doors opening in my basement. I kind of want to explore your childhood basement now, though. Start knocking down some walls, see if I can find a door somewhere. Just for science, you see. <laughs> uh, okay, go down the giant creepy hole? Sure. <laughs> Wait. We're heading into the catacombs when bone dudes are rising from the ground. Are you sure this isn't secretly a zombie apocalypse? Or skeleton apocalypse? Apocalypse, I guess. I don't know. Wait, why did we... Yeah, we didn't even have to open it. I guess because Glitch already defeated the Master Virus or whatever, so now all doors are just automatically open for us? I don't know. I didn't realize that was a thing. But, uh... Whatever. It let us in. What do we get? Wrench swap pack. Hey! There's the key! I think this is what uh, Nate has been talking about this whole time. <laughs> we finally got the key. There you go. We're now Sora from Kingdom Hearts, man. <laughs> and you know that's what we're going to use, is the key. Because hell freaking yeah. This is actual Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Kingdom Hearts 3 was a bit of a letdown, so Insomniac figured they would just come in and make it for Square Enix. <laughs> ah, freaking fire. What happens whenever we connect to things? Okay, it turns back into a wrench. Kind of. It still looks a little key -y. Does the key just like... Yeah, I guess the jaws on the key just kind of separate to grab onto stuff. That's cool. Yes! <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like Kingdom Hearts 3. It's a good game. But it just doesn't stand up to, to one to Birth by Sleep, like, at all. Didn't mean to put the K. I, I mean, <laughs> I kind of figured. Huge it is. Huge. Let's go! Get that map, boy. Oh. A trail. A, 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 I mean, it sounds a little important to me. What is this a byproduct of? I kind of would like to know, actually. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I tried to jump off. What do we press to jump off? Does anybody remember? I always forget how these things actually work. Is it triangle? We press triangle to get on, so maybe it's triangle to get off too. That would make sense. Okay, well. We didn't get off, but we, we just went up on it this time. So I guess that works too. Ooh. No, it's kind of pretty for an underground catacomb, basically sewer area. <laughs> oh, big jump. Uh, we missed we missed the stuff. Oh, rare titanium. How do we get off? All right, we got it. I don't know what button we pressed to get off, because I just kind of started uh, hammering all of the buttons, but... <laughs> it's fine. We're safe. That's all that matters. 
was just about getting the key, but you do agree with key H3 being decent, but a letdown in the same breath, yeah. It's just a letdown because the other games were so good, you know? The other games are, like, top tier. KH3 is just a good game. That's the problem with it. Like, it's still a good game, KH3, but when you compare it to the other ones, it uh, doesn't hold up. Frap! I need to learn how to drive one of these things. Oh, we're going... Okay, well, now we're, like, flying. How do we... I don't want to drive through them. I want to murder fools. I am here for the murder. And also, I lost my friend anyways, so, like... <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. Where art thou, friend? Uh, Right here, okay. Maybe we should have just drove through them. Maybe, maybe Clank was right. <laughs> okay. Nice freaking boost. Ah, oh, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Hi, uh, other Gary Bros. Not Gary Bros. There we go. That's what we call you. Not Gary Bros. How are you? Ooh. I like all the purple in this game. Purple's like my favorite color. I don't know who knows that. But, uh... The purple being everywhere is total mood. Also... <laughs> I love that they just uh, bleep that out. That's hilarious. Uh, da -da -da. We need drones, please. And more Apocalypse. Ow! Gunther, you're fighting the wrong people! Friend, not food. Apocalypse Glove is out of ammo. Bombs? Shatter Blast. Let's go! <laughs> Over here talking about instruments. While we have giant freaking undead beasts attacking us. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you're glowing red. In my experience, undead beasts glowing red is usually not a good sign. It's okay, though. We survived. Well, I'll be back on in a little bit, going to lose connection. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. But have fun with whatever you're doing. <laughs> Thank you for being here while you could. Getting close. I don't think we've gotten the map yet, but we shouldn't be too far from it. Uh, Ratchet, I believe in you, buddy. You got this. More puzzles. You have done this before. Um talking in the second person like Ratchet does when he is stressed. No matter. Just Okay, so time like Gary said. Fix the anomaly, then grab Put you there. That should spin this around. Excellent. And then we got that thing, which we probably need like a uh a lowering one thrown in there to get that one? What is this one? A heavy sphere. Okay, so that works. Put that there. This seems to be too easy. Like, things are working in order, which doesn't seem right, you know? Normally, we gotta kind of do this stuff out of order. Well, you'll be back on in a little bit, just going to lose connection. Oh, yeah, you said that already. I read that already. Okay, there's another heavy one. Uh, okay, well, I guess we just put that there, right? And then they come over here, they hit that button for me, which will lower that one. Or lift me up to it, I guess. And then I hit this button, which makes them go straight instead? Why would I want them to go straight instead? Yeah, no, I, I want you to go that way. Oh. 
Oh. N no. Uh. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Um. What does this button do again? I'm confused. I want... I don't know what that one is for. Okay, so wait. I want them... Yeah, I want them to go that way. And then electrify that one. Okay. I don't know what I did, but it's working now. So we're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna say we did that on purpose. That seems like a decent plan to me. <laughs> Solving puzzles and don't even know how. To, to quote Carl Sagan. What do we? Close to and how to save the what do we got now? We got a heavy boy over there. Uh, something blocked off up there. Something else blocked off over there. We can't just break it though, right? Yeah, no. What does this do? Does that turn that? It does. And only while we're on it, and it only turns it to the left. Okay. Um. Let's see. This one turns that, I'm assuming? Yes. Also lifts it, though, so they're gonna need, like, a jump pad or something. If they're gonna get up there. Alright, we got a heavy boy. Um, uh, alright, look. Take it one step at a time. Let's see. If we put a heavy boy on there, I think by turning this the other direction, they'll hit the heavy pad and then break through that. Or that's a lifting pad. Shoot. Okay. So wait a second. If we turn them to the, to the left, Take the lifting pad, put it there. Whenever they... They won't just break it by running into it, though, will they? No. Uh... Okay, so... What happens if they just go straight? What does that pad do? That pad turns that one, which makes them hit this button, which lifts that one. Okay, so that's a way that I could get up there. So if I take that one off, they'll stop coming over here. And then when they stop coming over here, I can jump up there. Uh, okay, so then put this one back over there. You're still here actually, Nate? Well, I'm glad to hear it. Okay, okay, that'll let us grab the green one. Once we go over there, I forget what green does. Uh, speed. Okay, maybe by speeding into those things, we'll be able to break them. I don't remember how the breaking mechanics work exactly. Nor do I know why, like, this one here never despawned. He's just been, like, <laughs> permanently stuck on that. But it's fine. Okay, now run into it at full speed. Yes, okay. So that gave us... Heavy. And if we do. Wait, we still need to figure out how to break that one, though, right? Or is that just like a. A red herring? I don't know. Let's try. Let's just try this. So we got. We got the straight boys. We'll put. Speed in here, maybe, and then feather. Feather in. Why can't I drop the feather? Feather, please. Feather in that one. And what does that do? Where do they land? They land right there if I do that. So. Nope, not that one. This one up here. If I spin this one now, will they land on that platform? Probably not, but maybe. 
I'm still muted, but you just saw the trailer for Jurassic World, and you just wanted to let you know that you have to take me to see it. I have no option, apparently, now. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do now, I guess, is just get the heavy up there on that, right? And then, or no, because that just... That just means they're going to run into it in a different way. Shoot! Okay, so there's got to be some way to break that one up there. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. We can put speed there. I didn't see the speed. I didn't see the, the earlier pad. I mean, there we go. So we use the speed there. And then they'll they'll hit the, the, the jump pad, the, the light pad. That'll run them into that. That'll break that, which will give us another jumpy pad, I think. Yes. Okay, we're good. We got this. We just got to do the same thing we did last time now, basically. Um, What was it? It was... Was it jump pad here? Do we have jump pad there? And then speed pad back there? I think that's how we had it. And then we want another jump pad there. Mm, no, that's not jumping them far enough. We must have had that different. Was it the speed pad was just closer? Yes, the speed pad was just closer. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got it, guys. So they'll hit that. They'll jump over the saw, hopefully. They are in... Okay, not all of them are making it, but some of them are making it. And <laughs> that's good enough. That's all we need. Just some of them. Hell yeah. G freaking G. Teleport to the exit. Do we have to do another one, or is that it? Because uh, I don't know how many more of these we can handle. Oh, no. We're screwed. This may be it. The final puzzle. The knowledge is tickling the back of my mind. Okay. So let's see. Let's just collect what we can first. Let's just focus on that. So we collect as much uh, shit as possible. Then we can go from there. Rip stream. <laughs> Statistically speaking, I am just uh, to succeed now. What does that button do? That button lowers that. Okay, so we need to get them over to here. Uh, by putting a jump pad there. And that'll bring them over here so I can collect that one? Yes. Okay. Uh, can I jump that far? I can, just barely. Excellent. So far, so good. That gives us... A heavy sphere, which... Do I put the heavy sphere there? No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. How do I get up there? I mean, I might be able to get up there just by, like, running into it. Like, just by, like, doing something like that. Nope. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> huh... Okay, let's uh let's look forward instead of backwards. Let's try that. What do we got? So that electric pad goes up to there. But I don't see any way to get up there. Could I use a jump pad on myself somewhere? Maybe. Let's take this jump pad out. Let's take all this shit out now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. That'll lift me up. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Okay. No, we put that back. We put everything back the way we had it, and then we remove it remotely to get up top. So they're going to go back over there and lower this down for me again. Um, oh, I put the heavy one there. <laughs> not the electric one. The, the, ele the, the heavy one's not going to do much for us before that electrical point thingy. Okay, so they lower that down again. Then we just remove these. Uh, I didn't mean to put that there. Take both of those out. Then we can put the electric one in to electrify ourselves. Go across. That gives us the speed boost. And now we can use the speed boost to maybe do something. How do we get... 
Okay, if we put speed boost there and feather there, how far do they go? They do go up to there, so we just need the electricity up there now, right? So remove that one. Electricity up there. That'll let them go across? No, why not? Is it because of the fan? Why aren't they why aren't they grabbing the thingy? Well, hold on. Okay, what if we use the the jump boost on that one for myself? Can I at least get up there? I know they won't be able to get up here this way, but No. Shoot. Okay. Grab that one back. Uh Um Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can jump up there. Duh. If they can jump up there, then I can jump up there. Because they're just me. They're just little me's. Little little dumb me's. Dumber me's, I guess. I'm not, you know. <laughs> not necessarily the brightest uh, pee in the pod here. Oh, because there's nothing to turn them. I thought the fan lined up with this. Nope. Because that's another lift sphere. So if I put the lift sphere in there, maybe... That still blows them over here. Okay, no. So that's not what we want. We need to... Well, I mean, there's going to have to be an electric sphere over there. That one's obvious. And then... I think maybe... Is there a way... What if we put another... Or no, we put a heavy. Put a heavy sphere in here. Not over there, dumbass. It's right there. That'll stop them from being affected by that. And then if we put the the list sphere right there, they should be able to jump across. GG. That wasn't so bad. I honestly expected it to be a little bit worse. <laughs> I know how to stop the cataclysm. And we are about to get the dimensional... We did it! Things are finally going our we can hype, boy. So I don't have to send your friend's head to Torrent Ball. Uh, don't do it, Clank. Don't worry. I'll be hosting a viewing party of my victories. It's all Come on, kid. Prison. We gotta... <laughs> Bruh. This one, she's gonna reveal her secret. She's gonna, she's gonna go all macho. And Rivet's gonna realize it was her that took her arm. And then redemption arc. Come on, redemption arc. I believe in you, game. You got this. Oh, was that our nefarious? Shaking my damn head right now, boy. <laughs> Just snatches it back from him, shoots a portal and throws him in it. Like, forgive her, Rivet. It's going to. She's going to. She's going to forgive her. Like, she's got to. She ain't got no choice, man. That's what's going to happen. Hands down. She's gonna find her, she's gonna save her, she's gonna forgive her. It's not like she did it by choice. It just kinda happened, you know? Hey, Mr. Noodle with a 5-bit cheer, even though you probably can't hear me. <laughs> Thank you, love. He's not as useless as you thought, Rue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still pretty useless, but, uh... You know. A broken clock is right twice a day, or whatever it is they say. 
Oh, you can here right now? Well, hi! Hi, Noodle. That's what she was built to do. Literally, yeah. <coughs> built and programmed. Uh, so wait, do we still have the ability to, like, fly around and stuff? Yeah. I don't remember Zordoom. What was this planet? I don't remember this one at all. Can we go see Jurassic World? Oh yeah, no, we're definitely gonna see it. I don't know... I don't know if I want to go to see it in... In theaters or not. I don't care much for uh, movie theaters, but... If it's that important to you, of course I'll take you to the theater to see it. Oh, this is the, the prison world. Duh. Zordoom. That's, uh... I mean, that sounds like a prison world. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised by how, like, messed up it is. You would think if uh, Nefarious would want anywhere to be reasonably well held together, it would be his prisons. Ooh, we got enough money for the warmonger. Cut straight to the chase of any encounter with this big old rocket that will explode upon impact and hit anyone else within its blast radius. Uh, yes, please. Also, upgrades. Can we upgrade anything else? Uh, Negatron Collider. I don't care. Lightning Rum. Yeah. Shatter Blast. Ricochet. Topiary. Drill Hound. Nope, not really. Okay. Saw the other two in theaters, so you had to see this one in theaters. Yeah, I remember you saying that. <laughs> Didn't you go with your, your mom and sister, though? So why don't you just do that with this one? Or do they not want to go see this one for some reason? Oh, yeah. So this is just like a traditional rocket launcher, at least for now. It just just, just does a big boom. <laughs> Can't even be mad about that. I'm going to, uh, real quick before I forget, I'm going to switch the buzz blades to the main one here. Because I actually kind of like it. Um, I don't remember what's what. Hopefully that's okay. Yeah, that was the ricochet. That's fine. Okay, so we got buzz blades over here now. Cool, cool. Really brings up the question of AIs. I mean, they're built to be consistently, constantly learning, so they do eventually become sentient. I think so, because they eventually learn emotions. Kit is an example one. Yeah, I don't know, like, so, with the way it worked with Clank, at least, right, he was just a, it was a screw up. He wasn't supposed to have that level of, of thinking and emotion and whatnot. But they messed it up, and that's where he came from. I don't know if it's the same with Kit or how that works in, in this universe, though. Like, no clue. Or are you just talking, like, IRL? <laughs> the whole problem with, with AI and robots and shit like that. Uh, okay, I mean, we will go that way obviously because it seems like we have to go that way but also what's over here oh not this one the other door you always go the wrong way in a video game first those are the rules <laughs> that's cute <laughs> sorry i have to kill you but uh i liked you while you were alive there you guess? You guess they don't want to? Or you guess you will just go with them? Look, everything's kind of out of context because uh, y'all are on a delay. You gotta be a little more specific, Noodle. I don't know what's going on. AIs in general, really. But there are a lot of game examples. But I mean, that's what Detroit, Detroit Becomes Human is all about. I severely disappointed Noodle. How dare I? I just said I would take her to it. If, that's, if it's important to her, like... Of course I will. But like, yeah, no, I'd prefer not to go personally. I want to see the movie, but I'm more of a wait for a movie to come out on DVD and then just buy it kind of person. I'd rather just pay $30 and own a movie forever instead of paying $30 to see a movie once while playing for while paying for overpriced snacks. Like <laughs> I just never, I don't know. I've never understood the appeal of theaters, man. They're just not for me, like, at all. As far as Detroit Become Humans go, I really want to play that game. I haven't played it yet. 
I watched a little bit of a playthrough of it, but uh, I stopped because I didn't want to be spoiled for the entire story. Since it is something I want to play eventually. True, but she wanted to go with you. And then you suggest her sister and mom instead, and now she feels bad. I mean, I hope not. <laughs> I'm sorry, Noodle. Like I said, if you want to go love, I will take you. Oh, can we fire the giant cannon? Giant TVs? Wait, what? Oh, that's the <laughs> the whole point of going to theaters or just for the giant TVs? I mean, yeah, but just sit really close to the TV. It's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, we have VR headset. A VR headset. Uh, put that on your face and you'll feel like you're in the theater, man. The TV will look even larger than it does in theaters. It'll be amazing. It's good. You haven't played it, but it's a great game. Don't worry, Noodle. I got you. <laughs> oh, who messaged me? And why did Discord give me like an actual ping for it? I'm streaming, Discord. It's a new one. And it's amazing. I'm streaming it now if you want to see it, bruh. I don't know why Discord is uh, actually like giving me notification sounds. It's not supposed to do that. Anyways, sorry. Stop it. You're watching the Super Bowl? Trash. Who watches the Super Bowl? Ain't no one. That's what I'm going to reply. I'm going to reply real quick, then we're getting back to it. Ain't no one care about the sports ball. Bro. Tight. I'm annoying him now. <laughs> Your mother is just annoying during movies. She talks. Yeah, that, <laughs> like in the theater even. It's one thing if you're like a uh, at-home movie watcher that talks. But if you're talking during a movie at a movie theater, that's like actual trash, you know? Like, come on. Have a little bit of respect. Like, there's a lot of people that paid a lot of money to come see this, and you're just gonna talk over it? That's that's shitty as hell. <laughs> Mood noodle, but I can't really say shit because I'm that person. <laughs> but you would legit shut up just for you. Like, if it's a movie that everyone, that, like, we as a group have seen before or whatever, I don't care if you talk during it. Or, like, at home, I don't mind, like, pausing the movie for a moment if there's something you want to discuss. But in a movie theater? Mm, nah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta... You gotta hush in the theater, man. See, my problem is I think I say shit in my head, but then it turns out I said it out loud. <laughs> oh, man, Rue. <laughs> That's great. Oh. She ain't even talking about the movie. She's just talking about stupid shit the entire time. A plus, man. That's an A plus uh, movie going experience there. Like I said, if you want to, if you want us to go, we'll go and see it. Probably not, like, on release day or whatever. But, uh, we'll go and see it in theater. That's not a problem. Just have to... You'll have to remind me what day it is that it releases. Because I'll probably have to request it off for work. Both of us will probably have to request it off for work. So we can actually have a day off together. Can you, uh, die, please? Thank you. I appreciate you dying. Your talk is literally about the movie? That's a little bit better, at least. Just a little bit. I'll forgive you, because I like you. <laughs> Big jump. Okay. Okay, yep. Uh, so we're alive. <laughs> and now we're not. <laughs> we were really close to that kill plane. Jump! Yeah, Bubbles. What the hell you doing here, man? Like he just wanted some fresh water to chill in. Can't say I blame him, man. 
<laughs> Wait, there's another fan though. Oh, uh, I didn't need to shoot it. Didn't need to waste that ammo, but oh well. Hey, rare titanium. Thank you. Like when I saw the Adams Family movie when it came out, you thought you said Wednesday hair looks cool because they made her braids tied into nooses, but then it turns out I said it out loud. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, like, if I've ever had that legit happen to me, right? Like, as a joke, obviously, but I don't think I've ever really meant to say something in my head and said it out loud. That's a, uh, <laughs> that could be a real problem, <laughs> depending on the circumstances. <laughs> and she asks a bunch of questions. You were literally tell her, do not talk to me, do not ask me questions, and what does she do? <laughs> <laughs> Noodle, you do the asking question thing sometimes, too. And I'll always jokingly, jokingly yell at her, like, we are literally watching this movie together or show or whatever. You've seen everything I've seen. Like, <laughs> up to this point. We know the same amount of information. What do you What do you want me to tell you? Ooh, build me a weapon? Yes, please. Oh, we got we got crocodile dude bros now. I forget which way we're going. Oh, this way. Ah, some came up here and died. I'm sorry, weird toothy dude. Where are you guys? In the holding cells. Definitely not Clank. No, that's not Clank. They look like Clank. Are you sure? I can't shoot through them. Invisible walls. Damn. Are one of you Clank? Hello, Clank? You'd best not be after me, booty. Oh, I'm after that booty. <laughs> Give me the booty. She used to answer her phone before you made her turn it off every time we go. That's like actually, you know, I can joke around about the uh, the talking during a movie, but like talking on your phone during a movie, that's a whole nother thing. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Bruh, auto mod is a joke. Well, I mean, you did just call me a perv, so like maybe I should have denied it. <laughs> I'm after the booty, the treasure. What is wrong with that? Why does that make me a perv? After some booty, that's all. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> mm, maybe you're the perv for thinking anything else. Other than pirate treasure. <laughs> you know what you did. Yeah, I was talking about some pirate treasure. And you're thinking dirty thoughts. That's what happened. By the way, you're muted again if you're saying anything to me. Lo I mean, it's a little late now, Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. I'd let you rest, but we don't have a lot of time. You got here quickly. Oh, okay. Dimensional rift. Bad guys. Something about maximum security. We'll catch up to them. And um I'm glad you're all right, Clay. Oh, that was like normal glass we could shoot through. I didn't actually kind of expect that. <laughs> Most of the glass we encounter in this game is uh indestructible glass all right before we continue on though i do realize that it's been almost another hour it is uh just after seven o'clock here and you know what that means we got to take a break this time i'm gonna go grab a sandwich so i'm gonna be just one or two minutes longer than usual but don't worry guys we will be back if anybody needs to take a bathroom break or anything this is the time go do your thing I'm gonna go grab a sandwich, stretch and drink and all that stuff, run a quick ad, and then we're maybe finishing up Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Who knows? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Be right back, guys. It's progressing though, which is nice. Right, so we can we can swing things. We can we can jump with square, because obviously that's the jump button. This game has weird controls, man. I'm going to fight you, stream. <laughs> I'm intentionally not telling Nate about the project. Um, 
he has to find out about it the same time that everybody else does, even though normally I would uh, give him some insider info. <laughs> but he probably will get to play it before most people because I, I like to use him as a tester. Maybe with your new desktop, you might actually be able to do it then. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to need testers and stuff for the game once I uh, have something really decent to test. So, yeah, by all means, man. Uh, why are you in my room now, this Simon? What if I hit you with a stick? I kinda like it. Like you get up to the yes, I've been up to the tower, I think. How do we how do we hit people with sticks? Uh. <laughs> uh, okay, the, he doesn't care. He just ignores it. Stick doesn't exist, apparently. It just phases right through him. She had a big-ass order, ran her food card, then your pimp had rebooted. To fix that, we have to reboot the whole system. You told her it was going to be a few minutes before it comes back up, and she said, okay. Well, it took like five minutes for it to come back, back up, and she started huffing and puffing, and at some point, she started slapping your pimp pad, telling it to hurry up. See, like, that sounds a bit annoying, but at the same time, like, that could have been playful, too, you know? I'm sure since it made you so angry, it wasn't playful, and it was, like, uh, super annoying the way she was doing it but you know it could be i guess oh you've had pinpoint pads do that and it's a fucking pain because they take four fucking ever to reboot very true man very true every time the power goes out in my store which uh for short periods of time is actually not that uncommon and oh man it sucks because every register in the store goes down obviously and then has to be rebooted and it's a whole pain in the ass Time to stick on the ground and this power. Totally gonna abuse it. Hell yeah. Open front door? Not going outside, okay. Is the house actually alive? Is there some Encanto shit going on in here? Uh, I have no idea what we're actually supposed to be doing. I thought we were supposed to just go up to the tower, but I presume that's where I found the, the broom handle, the stick. And that doesn't seem to be what it wants us to do, since, you know, we're still just running around in circles. Couldn't send her to the other register since one of her cards already went through. She was not being playful. <laughs> hey guys, baggies. 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 <laughs> All the random voice quips. Is that more salt? Please tell me that's not more salt. No, that's got to be like oats or something, right? Oats or 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 some some sort of food thing. Oh no, it's the, the things, the things that do the spitting in eyes. Press the start button to go to the pause menu where you can change settings, read about active quests, and view your status. Notebook. From the options page, you can quit to the main menu or just game options. Now press R1 to move to the quest page. If you are stuck, check the quest page. Most quests have several tasks. Select a quest or task and press X for more details. Review the character page to see which attacks have been unlocked. Info about your your current sprite power and item collection details. Okay. Goblin teeth, fire salamanders, cockroaches, and birdhouse items. At first, I was thinking that was like a potion recipe or something like that. Baggies. Hey, Canes. What's up, man? Happy to see you here. Got to keep the spirits away. Lots of salt. You... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess that's one use for, for all that salt, but it's like everywhere. Maybe that is what they were using it for, though. Maybe they were trying to keep whatever the hell gremlins. Is that what y'all called them? You like this? All right, we are back. I'm eating my sandwich, though, so we're just going to sit and chill and talk for just a moment. It won't take me too long to eat it. Just one sandwich from uh, from Burger King. Got them onions so strong, my children, children gonna be smelling like onions, man. Mm. But it tastes delicious, though. Hashtag not spawn, but hey, if you want to, no. <laughs> I'll take free uh, Whoppers for life for uh, for a shout out in my streams, man. Now all five people that watch them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're fresh, they're juicy, and damn, are they strong. <laughs> Ugh. 
I don't know what it is about their onions. They they look like regular onions. As far as you know from working there, they're just regular onions. But my lord, are they some powerful things, man. Like, these onions alone could take down Nefarious's army here. I'm telling you. Eating your Whopper? Yeah. Yeah, I am, love. I was just talking about how these onions are so strong that our children's children are going to smell like onions. Mm. <laughs> Poor noodle. I don't know. It makes absolutely no sense. They're just onions. But my lord... Well, let me tell you, do they make a delicious sandwich, so. Got that pickle, that mayo, that ketchup, some tomato and lettuce, flame broiled patty. Oh, boy. Hey, thank you for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. Mm-mm-mm. I'm making a mess over here. Thank God I got paper towels, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm covered in flame-broiled goodness right now. Mmm. Why we're just sitting here chilling and talking and whatnot. Since I did hit my follower goal, we plan on having a bit of a community game day here at some point. We haven't picked a day yet. Probably on either a Wednesday or maybe we'll hijack a Sunday stream. And I'm going to open up the, the Discord. Everybody can just hop on. And we're all just going to play games together. Random shit. Could be Cards Against Humanity, could be some sort of PC game. I don't know what all we'll be playing yet, but... Just gonna play random fun stuff with the community, man. And have some fun with it. Not for super long or anything, but yeah. Just kinda include everybody in it. And hang out for a bit. That's really it. What is Coinbase? It sounds familiar. It's a crypto platform for uh, Bitcoins and stuff. Yeah, what Nate said. I'm guessing they had a Super Bowl ad or something. They had the most annoying one. Why was it annoying? Yes and no. Real. Like, I mean, obviously you can make some money off of it. But you can also lose a lot of money on it. <laughs> and, uh... Like, as far as an actual payment platform, it's iffy. There's a lot of work that still needs done on it. It's very good for... Because every every transaction is tracked, right? There is a ledger of every single transaction from the beginning of time until whenever that specific crypto dies. So, it's good for accountability. There's no real way to steal money without being tracked, etc., etc., there's, like, some circumvention that people try to use and whatnot, of course, but it's bad for the environment. The fact that to make a single transaction, you have to download the entire ledger of every transaction ever made is an issue. Like, imagine if every time you swiped your card at, at you know, Walmart or, or whatever your grocery store of choice is to buy a bottle of pop. They had to download every transaction that MasterCard has ever made in their entire history. And then somebody somewhere had to go through every single transaction to make sure you actually had the money to buy that pop and then give it to the person that you're buying it from. Like, <laughs> there are benefits of doing that, but it is very computationally intense for something that is relatively simple to do. Like, it's, yeah. 
But again, you can make a lot of money off of it, which is nice. But yeah, it's uh, it's rough. Literally just a QR code that was floating across the screen like the DVE logo used to for 30 seconds. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of like Nate said, throwing a few bucks into it here and there, if you're lucky, could end up meaning you make a, a pretty decent return on investment. But like any sort of speculative investment, just be careful how much money you put into it because there's no guarantee you won't lose all of it. it. It's basically gambling, right? Like we were talking about gambling earlier and how it is fun to do and it's fine to do as long as you have the disposable income for it and you're uh, reasonable about it, right? As long as it's not like feeding an addiction to it or something like that. But that's essentially what crypto is. It, it's it's gambling, but with a bit of uh, history behind it to look into, right? With with some, uh, what am I trying to say exactly? Gambling with, uh, I don't know, fused with investing. I'm I'm at a loss for words at the moment, but but yeah. All right, that was the last bite of Le Burger. Chewing, chewing, chewing. Watch it down. All right, man. Let's get back into Ratchet and Clank, shall we? And uh, talk about Doge while we're doing so. <laughs> Yeah, I do wish, like Nate said, he just made 80 bucks off $3 in Doge because he got in early, early. I wish I would have crept, crept, kept all of my uh, random coins that I had back in my, my mining days. And uh, whenever I was doing that sort of stuff, just buying random meme currency and shit like that. I wouldn't be like a millionaire or anything, but I'd have a, I'd have a bit of a nest egg though. That would be nice. Something that I definitely wouldn't be complaining about, you know? But, uh, I tended to use cryptocurrency more or less like regular currency. <laughs> so I did stuff like buying video games with it and shit like that, but... Uh, what's the Automod yelling about? Sometimes you want to delete TikTok, you're tired of hearing all this bad news about people getting let off because of idiot judges, corrupt cops, and hearing that justice hasn't been... Sir, for other reasons. Yeah, I try not to pay attention to the news too much, man. Because the news in general is just very depressing. Like, I mean, especially since most news corporations, be it whichever side of the spectrum you fall on, is heavily biased towards that side. So, like, you can't 100% trust any of them, really. Like, they're in it for money, just like every other corporation is. They just uh, have the guise of providing you with, with information, supposed facts, while trying to convince you to keep watching them and, and henceforth generating them ad dollars. It's, a, it's kind of a bad system, IMO. But it's the one we got, sadly. What Nate said, like, let's say you spend five bucks on a sandwich for lunch normally and you packed for the day. It wouldn't hurt to use the five bucks because you normally spend it anyways. That's the most money I put in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I see, I see what you're saying, man. And I, I, for the most part, agree with that. I think, personally, I think before you uh, start investing in any sort of crypto, you should have either a nest egg or, uh, or some other solid investment set up first. But, like Nate, Nate said, if it's uh, money you were gonna spend on something anyways, I, I guess it doesn't really harm anything to uh dump it in there knocks enemies out of the park when you defeat them with your melee weapon uh yeah please 
Now I want to defeat someone with my melee weapon, though, so I can see them freaking go flying. Good question. I mean, it's depressing, but I don't know when it got flagged. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, is my saying. Very, very true. Uh, do we have something better to kill you with? <laughs> You're a little too far away for that gun. Are we... Do we Do we get any more glove? Or glove? Did we get any more glove? Uh, saw blades back is what I was trying to ask, but no, sadly we have not. And we're out of blaster pistol ammo. Holy crap, man. We got like nothing. Thankfully, these reach. We need, we need ammo. Is there any ammo boxes around here somewhere, maybe? Can't get over there. Nope. Okay. Complicated? Hmm. I don't think that's what she's talking about. Kit. She's talking about Kit. He says, I wish I would have kept my dose for four more days. You would have made 800. You would have never got locked out of your account. You would have possibly been able to retire, retire. Possibly had enough to start your own thing. So you're planning on buying a little doge regularly with your fun money. Because it was so cheap. Yeah. Yep. I mean, we could talk about what uh, what we wish would have been all the time, you know. <laughs> I I tried to invest heavily in doge. But my, or not in doge, I'm sorry. In, in Bitcoin and Ethereum. But uh, my credit card company would not allow me to purchase cryptocurrency at the time. Uh, so I couldn't and then like I said, I spent a fair amount of it just on like video games gave a little bit here and there to friends and shit like that because why not, you know, and uh, now it'd be worth a, a Like I said a, a not insignificant amount of money. I don't think I would have had retirement money off of it uh, but maybe and then uh, Yeah, I mean doge is a whole nother story though because the <laughs> How cheap it was and then how much it blew up really was just kind of insane. Uh, but I mean, it's it's a meme. And who knows, maybe it'll blow up again at some point. I kept a hold of some just in case it does by some chance end up blowing up again. But I, I'm not holding my breath on, on Doge or any of them, really. One of your professors is huge on getting into the stock market, but I don't really see the point considering it rise and falls so much. I'd be happy to do it once, get a lot of money, and then have it in my account. Yeah, the whole thing with the, the stock market is that it does rise and fall constantly, but it, uh... Oh, well, that was lame. Anyways, it has a history of going higher than it goes down, though, right? Like, it, it does have periods of falling, periods of going up, but if you look at a chart over the past, like, five years there's a net gain of it and usually that net gain outpaces the the rate of inflation making it one of the best ways to invest long term um we're gonna die uh we really need some health or we're we're dead dead um because most other forms of investing don't usually outpace inflation so say you were to put all of your money into a savings account. The problem with that is that in 20 years, that money is going to be worth, you know, 20% less than what it's worth today. And even if you have a 1% a uh, interest on all the money in your savings account, that's not going to outpace inflation. So by leaving your money sitting in a savings account, you're technically losing money over time, generally speaking. By throwing it into a diversified stock account, or, or into, div yeah, by buying a bunch of different stocks and leaving it sit in there, there's a good chance, no guarantee, but a good chance you'll make money faster than inflation will cause you to lose value, right? Like, again, I'm not a tax professional, or tax professional, I'm not a stock professional, I'm not a... Uh, I'm not giving investing advice. That's up to uh, to everybody else to do on their, their own accord. Do their own research. Decide what they want to do. But uh, that is how I understand things. And that's my philosophy for when I invest in stocks and, and coins and, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> 
but then you would risk still getting scholarships and fast fun. You don't want to use your own money for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, yeah, I definitely wouldn't worry about playing with the stock market or, or coins or anything like that until you have a solid income of your own. I definitely wouldn't use uh, any sort of scholarship money or, or anything along those lines. Because there, there's always the risk, no matter how safe of an investment you're making, there's always the chance that something will happen, you know? Like, uh, what's a large company? Amazon, for instance, right? Or Facebook. Facebook is a good example because they recently actually lost a shit ton of money on the stock market. Um, Facebook is a large company that has a, a strong history of growing, right? So investing in Facebook is generally would be seen as a, a safe investment, one that will make you a, a decent return with however much money you put in. But as they recently showed with their giant fall, there's always the chance that Facebook one day could just die. And if that happens, whatever money you had in that company is, is gone or at least significantly lower. So uh, you got to be careful with it. I mean, that's why you diversify. You don't dump all your money into a single uh, company. Because if you dump it all into a single company, then it only takes that one company dying to, to lose everything. Whereas if you invest, we'll just use the tech realm as an example. If you invest in Amazon, Facebook, Google, um, whatever your favorite video game publisher of choices or whatever, the chance of all of those companies dying is much lower. Even if one or two fails, the other ones will probably do good enough that you won't lose everything. You might end up losing a little bit of money on it, but hopefully not so much that you would be screwed or or even negative. Uh, that's the so that's that's kind of the, the gist of it. Again, not a professional here. Uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. That is uh, what it is. Watch out for the what? What he call me? Bro, these guys are like kicking our ass. I mean, part of it's probably because I'm spending a lot of time talking and less time actually paying like good attention to the game. But my lord, are we getting our ass kicked? See, your number got changed and you were just sitting on it because you had a gut feeling and figured, screw it, you may get lucky, but then couldn't access it anymore. That sucks, man. Yeah, that's another problem with a lot of crypto is that uh, they don't have very good account recovery tools. Some of them do, but a lot of them don't have particularly good account recovery tools. Um, and I mean... There's somewhat of a good reason for it. Crypto is meant to be very safe. So they use very strong password guidelines and uh, and, and regulations and, and backup passwords that are just like completely random, very long strings and stuff like this. But, uh, but all of that also makes it harder for a human to uh, re-access their account if they forget their password or or lose their two-factor authentication, be it their phone or whatever, etc. Like, you just got in the wrong car? <laughs> Nate, what are you doing, man? How the hell did you get into the wrong car? <laughs> Can't believe that. That's insane, boy. Uh, fungal. Do we have another bombardier? We do. Yes, I know this. Ratchet and Kit are in trouble. We're trying to help, but we have, like, no ammo, man. Yeah, how does that even happen, Nate? You have to tell us. Like, <laughs> were you paying so much attention to the stream you weren't looking at what car you were getting into? I'm confused. I'm trying to mostly just stay out of the way and let, uh, let our little friends do the work here. They do an excellent job of it, I must say, so... <laughs> But I think they're all dead at this point. Uh, do we have anybody? We don't have anybody. Shatter Blast, bombs away. Yes. Blow them up. You're going to regret this when you're dying, Mr. Transfer Manager. Sometimes I feel a little bad. 
Like, this transfer manager is probably just trying to do his job, you know? He is a prison warden at the end of the day, and we are doing a, a, a prison break. Like, it's not the... Or not a warden, but you know. It's a, it's not every guard in a prison's job to know who's innocent and who's not. And we're just coming in here and literally murdering them <laughs> for protecting the prisoners, essentially. Uh... Oh, L1. Uh, can I, like, shoot it or something? How do we, how do we get it open? Oh. Do I shoot it? Do I swing it? Oh, I don't know what to do! I guess we're just watching. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're stopping. We're good. Oh, uh, never mind. We're not. We lost them again. Dun, dun, dun. She didn't mean it, though, man. You'll realize that eventually. Twas an accident. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can do the, the big blast thingy now. Blow up all kinds of block blockses. Boxes in the area. Uh, Do we hit it? Yep. <laughs> that works. Oh, do, do, do. We didn't get much ammo. Oh, I see ammo. Uh, right across the way. Go, 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 go. 30 buzz blades, and that's pretty much it, I guess. We did get a bombardier at some point. Uh, Did it just blow up? Okay, no, it's up there. <laughs> I was like, okay, yay, we got a bombardier. And then we just instantly destroyed it by, by doing the world's worst throw on it. Die, robot scum. Hopefully, uh, Nate's okay. <laughs> he hasn't replied since he got in the wrong car. He may just be driving. Fingers crossed he's just driving at the moment and not like, uh... He, he's getting his ass kicked because he <laughs> got into some random person's car. Where art thou, Juliet? Uh, da -da. Executor? Executor sounds good. Hi, friend. I brought you a gift. <laughs> it's a shotgun blast to the face. I hope you like it. Uh, is there anywhere else to go in here? Anything else to collect? I feel like we're missing stuff, but oh well. Forward! Just shoot him. Which means a visit to the warden's office. Did you hear about the disturbance in processing? I was informed it may have been uh, a lombax. A lombax. Another to add to the Emperor's prize collection of adventures. We must celebrate after our I'm surprised these guys don't like know me. <laughs> Cause haven't we been here? Didn't we break out before? Isn't that how uh how they know of us? Or we know of this place, I guess, would be the, the better question. Wait, why do you have rare titanium in your cell? Also, why can't I get it out? We must be, uh, I'm guessing at some point we're going to open up all the cells. Oh, Mort, Mort! All kinds of friendos. Ah, oh, we can't get through that one. Lame. And then uh, Apocalypse Glove. That should do the trick. Get him, Agent! <laughs> I love these things. These are probably my favorite weapon in the whole game, dude. Just look at them. Aren't they cute? Just down there having a little snacky snack. Like, they're the best. Oh, thank God for a shop. We need ammo like something fierce, man. We might even be able to afford a uh, new weapon. We can. Black Hole Storm. Black Hole Storm, let's go. Now we get to try it out firsthand. Half R2 to spin up. Full R2. Oh, it's a Gatling gun. Oh. Okay, interesting. 
That could be fun. Which way are we going? Uh, looks like the other way, but, 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 pocket dimension time. If we're going to complete the game, we got to do them all, man. Might as well do it now. A vroom, a whoosh, a whiz. I think a whiz. It's a whiz. 100%. Uh, that didn't work, guys. <laughs> I tried. I thought maybe we could boost over that gap. We definitely could not. You got in the right car now and got to your first destination. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you made it, bud. We're still a little concerned about you and how the hell you ended up in the the wrong one. But uh, but yeah, I'm glad. We're glad you made it. Or at least I am. I guess I can't speak for Rue. Maybe Rue wanted there to be more drama involved. <laughs> uh, oh! Okay, we can't m move at all. Because, like, it's acid. <laughs> fair. Fair. Drama is too much hassle? Honestly? Same, man. I agree 100% with you there. Ain't need no drama in my life. I got enough drama inside my own head. <laughs> and jump. Oh, that was close. Oh, buddy. Get it. That was an easy one. I say after we died like three times. But, you know, it's fine. Did we get a white version of the same outfit? I'm confused. Lombax Praetorian chest. What did that one do? Not collectibles. Armor. Praetorian, eh? I home crafted for the elite warriors of the Lombax Praetorian Guard. Plus 20% raritanium earned. Honestly, if we're going to be upgrading everything eventually, I think I want to go with that one. I don't like the look of it as much, but plus 20% raritanium, for sure, man. <laughs> That's a mood? Hell yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we should be hell yeahing that, actually, but <laughs> hell yeah anyways. Because <laughs> they parked in your current spot, you'd been getting at home, and they their car is dark color also, so you just went to get in and start up and was like, wait, this isn't my seat. I'm kind of surprised they didn't have their door locked, to be honest. Although, I mean, I'm really bad about locking my car door, too, so... <laughs> I probably wouldn't have been locked, either. Did we... We bought the new weapon. Did we remember to buy the ammo, or no? Yeah, we did. Okay. Good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Upgrades. We got the buzz blade! What is it? Blades bounce an additional time? Definitely. Please and thank you. We'll gladly take that upgrade. And everything else is probably finished. Oh, no, the Bombardier. The Bombardier gets uh, more max ammo. I mean, that's that's always nice. Can't complain about more max ammo. And we probably don't care about the rest. Honestly, though, we have so many freaking rare titanium. We should probably just upgrade everything to whatever the current maximum is. But, meh. That would make sense. Oh... Uh... You are not permitted to defend yourself? Hmm. I think I'll just, uh, ignore that. <laughs> what, you don't want to fall, Clank? You're a robot. You'll be okay. Although, I don't know. Are you waterproofed? <laughs> how, how well do you deal with, uh, deep and endless looking oceans? I was about to ask how the hell you even got in the car. <laughs> I agree with Clank. Uh, also, we're dead. Shit! Uh, bruh. Oh, shit. There's rare titanium up there, too. How do we get to there? Oh, wait. You're alive again? Why are you alive again? You're supposed to be dead. Uh, Black Hole Storm. 
We'll make quick work of you with our freaking Gatling gun of a of a weapon. Oh well, that was that was actually pretty easy. Did we get this last time, or did we forget it? I feel like we missed it, but it was actually pretty easy to get to. <laughs> oh, that was a bad jump. Yours is unlocked, and your keys may be in the ignition. I don't leave my keys in the ignition. I always take my keys back inside, but yeah, I definitely leave it unlocked way more than I than I really should. Go, 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 go. I'm get glad time freezes whenever we uh, shoot out our little our little doodad grapple hook thingy. <laughs> I don't think I like you. Are you gonna turn into a giant robot too? Oh, now everybody's free. <laughs> that sounded fake as fuck. Exactly, man. I feel like it's gonna turn into a giant robot and try to murder us too. Yep. Yes. So, really, we just let out all the evil people in this universe. And did nothing to help Plank. And also, big surprise, that Warden uh, <laughs> ended up being a bit of a dick. <laughs> Ow! I want to kill one with the, the thingy. Ah, uh, okay. I think they would go flying a lot better if we were, like, out into the open. Out into the open? Out in the open? There's no riot here. The only riot here is, a uh, the riot of a good time. <laughs> a rioting good time? I don't know, man. Look. Puns are hard. <laughs> so many bullets. I'm not good at bullet hell. One dead. Ooh. You can die, too, if you want. Nobody would blame you if you just decided to, to eat the eat the dust. Eat the dirt. Oh, hi. Friendos. Uh, looks like a good time for some fungus. And one or two ankle biters. Ankle biters, take care of the little guys. Fungi, take care of the big guys. You're dead. Are they just infinitely spawning? Go away. Oh, that hurt. Spike ball to the face. Turns out it uh, <laughs> it hurts just a little bit, man. I feel like there's not enough ammo in this game <laughs> for guns, I mean. I suppose they're probably just trying to make you switch between weapon types more often. Which is fair, you know. But, like... I like my blast pistol. Sometimes I just wanna sometimes I just wanna blast things with the most basic gun available. That's fine. Buzzsaw blades it is. Nice. Alright. We got a moment to breathe finally. Oh no we don't. <laughs> I thought we did. Turns out I was wrong. There we are. Now we got a moment to breathe. I'm working on it. Ah, uh, more hits. Uh, just jump. Go for it. Don't lose a ratchet. I mean... I don't think we planned on losing Ratchet. Oh, wait. I can't go through that. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> now we can get through here. <laughs> I tried to go through the door. It was like, nah. Not allowed. 
Turn around. Other doors closed. Game's confusing me. Um, that dude just like clipped through the ground. Hi, random robot dude. I can't tell who's on my side and who's not. Is it just the robots that aren't on my side? Are the pirates on my side? Like, normally that, the answer would be no, but... I mean, we are kind of helping them break out of prison, so maybe? Yeah, okay. It looks like it looks like all the goons and the pirates are all, uh, all on the same side here. Oh, which reminds me, of course, there was rare tanium in a couple of these areas. What armor did we find here? I didn't expect to find armor in a normal level. I thought they would only be in those thingies. The Q-Force chest? Meh. That one's kind of lame. I mean, it might do something cool. I don't know, but... <laughs> kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle. That's neat. Any more rare titanium? Any more secrets? I mean, we got chests. We'll definitely take rubies. What? Oh. That... I don't know why, but that looked like gold or something to me whenever I was walking past it. I thought it was something neat. Hey, golden bolt. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, too many lights. What it give us? Confetti craniums. A burst of confetti flies out of enemies weak spot when hit. That's neat. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bits here again. Does that mean you're back, love? Thank you for the five bits too, of course. Whether you can hear at the moment or not. Uh, would you like to talk to me, Gary? Or not Gary? Gary, not Gary? I guess not. Gary, not Gary. It. G uh, Gary, it. <laughs> That's his new name. Gary, it. Guess who is laying next to me? Uh, the one that hates you. What's her, what's her name? Pumpkin. Is it pumpkin? You got a pumpkin laying next to you? Did that reach? Uh, it did not reach. Try that again. There we go. That worked. Also, apocalypse glove. Uh, eat that, robot scum. Yes, really? And she's not just like screaming at you the whole time? <laughs> pumpkin is a cat, for anybody who doesn't know. And it despises Mr. Noodle for some reason. <laughs> Does not care for her one bit. What is all this blowing up? Holy crap. Uh, are we supposed to be down here? <laughs> Can I get out of down here? Blast pistol out of ammo. Let me know how this goes when you get back. You're going to pull a noodle and get a shower? That's fine. Get a shower. Enjoy your shower. We'll probably be here still when you get back. There's some screaming. <laughs> that's that's nice. <laughs> Why is she lay? Are you forcing her to lay next to you? Or did Pumpkin choose to lay next to you? Because I find it hard to believe that Pumpkin chose to lay next to you, to be honest. Bruh, I love all the confetti. It's just extra, extra particles. I'm here for it. Oh my lord, there's so many things. Just all of y'all need to die, please. Because if you don't, I'm going to. <laughs> and I don't think there's any health around here anywhere. There's so many things on the ground, in the air. And not this coordinated. Okay, where are we going? Oh! I didn't expect a random boost there. Okay. Is it dead? Everyone's dead? I think everyone's dead. Oh, okay. We got a second. You gave her treats. She was on the couch and you sat down. She's still here. You were playing with a pipe cleaner too? That's nice. You're bonding. Y'all are going to be the best of friends.
Oh. Oh, they already took care of it. Thanks, B. What you gonna do about it, huh? Mr. or Miss Assistant bot? <laughs> Giggle gas? I didn't know we were uh, fighting the Joker here. Do I just smack it? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I guess nothing. Okay. Uh, hit the button, please. Before we start giggling. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, we're, we're on a timer. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if we're gonna. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is corny as fuck, cheesy as fuck. Oh no, we're screwed. Hit the booze, let's go! <laughs> the freaking chuckling, man. The sing songy voice and chuckling while dying. Bruh. She's leaning up against you now? Nah, -uh, I don't believe you. Okay, we're here. Okay, so we'll go outside. We got it! Oh no! <laughs> and my battery's dying! Okay, hold on. I gotta plug in my controller. It's almost halftime? Uh, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really care about the sports ball, I'm sorry. I gotta plug my controller in, BRB. Is it charging? I think it's charging. Uh, yes. Okay. It's charging. Survives to save Ratchet and Clit. Clit? <laughs> Ratchet and Clit. That's new. Uh, Ratchet and Kit. <laughs> I tried to say Clank and Kit at the same time. It didn't work out so well. Alright, so all we have to do is survive, so... Is it like... I imagine we actually have to kill everything and not just survive. Although I am down for just surviving. <laughs> Muting me by? So rude. Goodbye, love. <laughs> Enjoy your halftime show. Oh, hi, buddies. Uh... So many explosions and particles makes it impossible to focus on any one thing. Uh, mm, fungi. I meant to freaking warp, not smack with hammer. Uh, okay, but we can't do anything over here until everybody else is dead, I'm, I'm assuming. So even though we made it here... Kind of pointless at the time being. Question mark. I mean, I'm not really even having to do anything. <laughs> all of our all of our minions are kind of taking care of it for us at the moment. Are there any even any e what? Were those even words? Are there even any enemies left alive? Yes, there are. We just found them. Oh, and they're shooting big things at us. Big, not-so-friendly things. Uh, 
Are you the last one alive? Do you like shotguns? Or how about saw blades? Trophy earned, just stay down. At your second destination? Now phone's odd, so only have connections when you go to Wi-Fi? That's fine, man. I'm just, uh, I appreciate you being here either way. As I've told you before, you know? Whatever time you're in the stream or can be in the stream, I appreciate it. Off, yeah. <laughs> I mean, phone being odd and off, it's essentially the same thing, right? More fungus, please. And uh, drones, why not? And uh, ankle biters. A little bit of everything, you know? The whole gang is here. Hello, who's alive? You. Okay. I feel like we're going to die from falling off before we die from actually fighting these dudes. Was it, though? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Where Where's the not quite one? Oh, okay. Big dudes in the sky. Royal Guard escorts. Fair. Uh, get as much fungus going as possible. Do we have bombardiers? We do not. Uh, the Apocalypse Glove probably isn't going to do much. But I guess we'll get a couple down anyways. And then blast pistol these fools, man. Yes. Blast him with the force of a million BBs. <laughs> BBs, not babies. That'd be weird. <laughs> yep, but I'm trying not to miss end a game. If you make it to the end tonight, like you said, solid three years till you get a PS5. You never know, man. There's a chance you'll be able to get one before then. Uh, Shoot him, please. Where is... We have the Gatling gun. The Black Hole Storm. Yes. Let's get this one going. <laughs> Seems like a, uh, a good use for it here. You know, it doesn't do nearly as much damage as our other gun. Holy shit, it ran out of ammo fast, too. What was the Warmonger? Oh, Missile Launcher. That'll work. Uh, good job missing, though. 363 per shot. Not bad. Come on. Shoot faster. We got lightning rods? Screw it. I don't care. Unload everything. Honestly, yeah, it seems like they made the, the weapons or tried to make the weapons kind of like universally okay so that you could just kind of switch between them all. I kind of wish there was a setting like to just switch between the two weapon types, either the, the ones that summon minions to fight for you and then the ones that you actually have to shoot. And every time I run out of ammo for one, just automatically switch to the next. Like, <laughs> that'd be a pretty cool way to play the game. Oh, all right. I need, I need, <laughs> my voice needs a bit of a break. What time is it? I took my glasses off. 56. Okay. It's about time for a break anyways, but we're going to see if we make it to, like, the end of this section real quick. Because I feel like this section's almost done, so... Collect all these rubies first. And then... Save, save Ratchet and Clank. Gotta, gotta collect the goods, though, before we save our friends. <laughs> Redeemed Hydrate and Stretch? Yes, we are about to. For real. For Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Stay, stay on it. Crank it. Crank it hard. You got this. Is this, I'm, is this meant to be climatic? Bruh, this world looks pretty dope. Even though it's very, uh, very gray. I love all the giant waves and shit on the ground. Hey! Skid McMarks! <laughs> or Phantom. Sorry. Same thing. <laughs> If Shiba Coin miraculously shot up like 50 cents a coin, then maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh, you'd be able to get a PS5 early. I got you. I got you.
Truly, I am sorry, Rivet. For everything. I... I am not a good partner. Bruh, you are the best of partners, man. If you'd stopped to help me that night instead of running away, things could have been different. Or if you just told the truth, maybe... Why do none of you understand? I am broken. I will always be broken. Fine. Go not hide. broken, just different, remember? We had a whole arc about this already. I don't need a partner anyway. Yes, you do. It's because you did all this alone that you're in this mess. You're both idiots. <laughs> Don't leave her. Now she's really going to feel like a failure. Oh, you're the worst. You're all the worst. Awkward silence on the ship. Yep, yep. Seems about right. Kit should be here. She didn't want to be. Only because she thinks she's dangerous. And maybe she is. So you're just going to give up on her because you're afraid? Says the big hero who's too scared to look for the other Lombaxes? At least my fear makes sense. Sorry. Sorry. I... <laughs> Two sides of the same coin they are. Sorry. I feel like we never got a really good look at the the bar from the outside like that. It actually looks pretty cool. You're all okay. Oh, thank goodness. We were so worried. They can't stop us that easily. What took you all so long? Hey, I think I know how we can find the emperor. When you're ready to take the fight to him, come talk to me. I'm guessing that's going to be the end of the game. Whenever we go take the fight to the emperor i'm not really sure just guessing but uh yeah now to go back home nice nate hope you have a nice relaxing uh rest of your night i am gonna go ahead and take that break now that we got all of that uh stuff figured out so we'll be right back in like uh two three minutes guys and i'm gonna hydrate and stretch at the suggestion of mr nate allister 96 thank you for that Bit monsters, gross. Cockroaches, ew, very true, very true. Tomatoes, this is all tomato sauce? I mean, I like tomatoes as much as anybody, but my lord, man, that is, that is a ton. Also, I'm pretty sure my parents would be pissed if I just took a broom handle and started smacking the wall with it. A dumb one. It looks like somebody's been living inside. Wonder if I could fix. Oh yeah, go into the old creepy dumbwaiter. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing bad ever happens in these situations. Oh, we have to... Okay, so we just rotate them at the same time. A little weird, but okay, it's working. We're going. We're making our way up. Super speed. <laughs> awesome. Whoa. Man, I wish I had a hidden room in one of the houses I've lived in, you know? We kind of sort of did. Not a house I lived in, but in uh, my aunt's house, my cousin's house. They, in the attic, where there was two bedrooms up in the attic. And uh, one of them, there was a hole in the wall. Couldn't tell you why. But the space on the other side of it was huge. Like, it was, it was large enough to be a small secret room. And in fact, that's basically what they used. I mean, obviously, the parents and everybody knew about it. But they kept a bunch of, like, toys and a blanket and everything back there and just kind of chilled in there. Also, I didn't realize we went back into the dump later. <laughs> I kind of I kind of wanted to explore a little bit more up there. I didn't mean to go straight back down. Now oh, we have to do this every time we want to go up to the secret room. Somebody needs to uh, put some WD-40 or something on those, those ropes. Hey, Mr. Hill with another 5-bit cheer. Thank you, love. I do appreciate you. Kane says, oh, I wish I had a secret room. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be awesome, though? Just, like, a for real secret room. Nobody knew about it but you. That'd be dope. That's, uh, if I ever get a, a house of my own, like, 
own a house, not renting a house or whatever. That's going to be my office, man. It's going to be a secret-ass room. Nobody's going to know about it but me. Mr. Noodle's going to wonder where the hell I disappear to. And, uh... Every time I stream. But she's never going to find me. So, okay. It doesn't look like there's anything actually to do up here. Well, maybe we missed the desk. We got a fancy key, okay. In a man's torso, you will find my secret to all my... In a man's torso, you will find my secret to all mankind. Alrighty. We're back. You need five dollars to get back... Or five to get back? Do you mean five dollars, Nate? I'm not sure what you mean. I, if, if, if you need help, just send me a... Shoot me a message on, on Discord or Facebook or whatever. What were you out doing anyways? Just door dashing and shit? Uh, should we try to do the last mission? I think, or I'm still assuming it's the last mission. But yeah, I think we're, I think we're just gonna go for it, man. I mean, we could, we could do this shit here. And, uh, I'm, I will at some point, whether it's on my own or on stream or whatever, is I'm definitely finishing, like, completing this game. Because I am loving it. But I think we're gonna go ahead and, uh... There we go. Yeah, final showdown is at hand. This is your last chance to acquire armor and collectibles before the end of the story. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah. Let's go, boy. The final freaking mission. Hopefully, it won't take more than an hour. <laughs> really, really big? Really big what? So he wants to conquer all the dimensions now, of course, yeah. Such a momentous occasion. I'd like to honor the good doctor who inspired this journey in the first place. By invading his home dimension personally. What? My first stop. Megalopolis. Or, as I like to think of it, Bruh. Not my home world. That ain't happening, bro. We gonna kick this dude's ass, okay? Thinking he's gonna take over my home world? Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that. Look at that resistance group. You ain't standing a chance, Nefarious 1 and Nefarious 2. Look at that. We got two pirate ships and like five other vessels. Small vessels. Your your giant war fleet doesn't stand a chance, obviously. Are we home? I am afraid so. Wait, did he already win? That was quick. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> didn't, didn't expect that. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Just, uh, I mean, this is the end of the game. So just buy all of the upgrades that we're eligible for. Just everything. Doesn't matter what it is. Just buy it. We probably have enough. <laughs> I hope it lets us do like a save afterwards so that we can collect all of the, the goodies. I understand we won't be able to redo the final, like the, the, like after the final mission, that's it or whatever. But like, yeah. Ah, uh, man, we've like never used the cold snap really, have we? 
it's not, I don't know, it's just not really my, my, my weapon, I guess. I know, Ratchet, we're working on it, bruh. Slow your roll. We're unlocking upgrades, okay? It's important. How much do we got left? 21. 21 more rare tanium. <laughs> 13. Is it gonna be enough? Uh, I don't think it's gonna be enough, man. Let's, uh, let's do the black hole swarm. This one's not too bad. Nope, nope. Go up, down. Two left. Uh, da, 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 da. drill hound. Done. Look, Clank, chill, or Ratchet, whoever you are. We're getting to it, I promise. We're Team Lombax now? Hell yeah, you are. Everyone's coming up Lombax. Oh, there's a bunch of bros. And not bros is in good bros. Uh, okay. Uh, bombardiers, maybe? And then buzz bleeds. Snipers first. Oh, that was surprisingly quick. I guess we haven't fought a sniper in a little while. We have gotten, like, uh, upgrades and shit since then. I expected them to put up a little bit more of a fight, though. Not gonna lie. And then... Buzz blades. Buzz blades for days. Where are the other snipers at? I guess we got all these other guys helping us, too. I'm sure they're outputting some damage. Some damage. Yes, there is. Last sniper? S sniper no sniping? Oh wait, was that not the last sniper? Uh, okay, where art thou? Oh, it's still alive? Did we not just spend like 20 minutes shooting you? There we go. Let us go. Ooh, more friends! Hi, friends. Y'all look wonderful today. Nefarious Juggernaut? Bruh. You ain't shit. Sorry to tell you, but you gotta go down just like the rest of them. Look at that. Look at that health falling. You don't stand a chance, Brosive. Alright, I mean, you got one hit on us, but I ain't even gonna sweat it. So much fire, I can't see anything. <laughs> All I see is fire. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm out of ammo. Do you mind waiting just a moment while I pull out my blast pistol? Thank you. Glad you're uh, being a good sport about it. Yay! Your savior. You are the heroes of this dimension. That is hilarious. You got lucky. I mean, we time, broke out of your giant freaking prison and this calls for a special made our way here pretty easily. Like I don't know. I've been looking for an excuse to wear my new suit. Where did he? The portal. He went in the portal. Obviously. Uh, I don't seem to be able to control it at all. Am I controlling it? I guess I am. Like, we're on rails, but I am I can kind of move it left and right. And whatnot. Holy shit, he's big. <laughs> Hi. Uh... Can we even shoot you from over here? Uh, hold on. We want fun guy. Fun guy? Fun guy to get some extra shots out whenever he comes up. Uh, apocalypse glove to get some guys on the bottom. 
bombardier for extra support, and then freaking Gatling gun for whenever this hand thingy comes out. We really gotta try not to take hits because taking hits stops us from doing shots. <laughs> Monitors? Oh, in the in the center of the hand? You will never, guess. never guess what? Oh, well, why can't I dodge it? Okay, teleport through it. There we go. I guess teleporting stops the Gatling gun from shooting too. That kind of sucks. Nice, level up. Come on back over here, nefarious. Ain't nobody in this dimension scared of your ass. I feel like we need more fungus. More fungus. Pull it out. Where are you, fungi? Yes, one down. One hand down, one to go. Question mark, maybe? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Lego Pierre. Where's our Captain Quark? Oh, right there. <laughs> oh. Wait, was the monitor in his hand his eyeball? Is that what we broke? Oh, it's gonna go boom. <laughs> okay, compared to how big he is, though, that little blast wasn't, like, that impressive. I'm sorry, Ratchet. I don't mean to be uh, disrespectful to you, bud, but um, <laughs> but yeah, Nefarious has uh, got you beat a little bit on the impressiveness scale there. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Nate. You didn't miss much. Nefarious is uh, attacking our home world, and we're kicking his ass. That's what's going on. The monitors. Go for it. Oh, buddy. Shoot him. Oh, yeah. Nefarious also turned into a giant mech. <laughs> There's that, too. <laughs> I, I guess that part's a little bit important. <laughs> uh, actually, it's not. This is my dimension, and you're just a bitch. Ow. <laughs> Shit! Come on! No more hits. Just murder. Alright, out of ammo on that. Do we got the... Not the drill hound. There we go. Black hole swarm. Charge it up. And let go! Uh... I don't care about your Gatling gun, Mr. Giant Mech Boy. Where'd I pick up more ammo from? I actually don't know. I'd rather have it for the, the saw, though, if I can get ammo like that. Okay, we're out of ammo again. Saw blade, nothing. I guess it's time for the good old blast pistol, then. Let's go. You have pie? What kind of pie? I love pie. <laughs> pie is amazing. Oh, we're fine. Don't worry about us, man. We're A-plus here. <laughs> a nefarious the size of his ego. That's, uh, that's pretty accurate, actually. Yep. Uh, one more bombardier ambo. Then throw it, boy. Let's go. And more fun guys. Fun guys for days. The same chocolate one that I got the other day. That's a pretty good pie, man. It's not, like, my favorite pie in the world, but it, it is a good pie. My favorite pie, honestly, is probably pecan. But chocolate pie is... It's pretty good stuff, you know? Are we hitting him? We are hitting him. We're also taking... Avoid injury going forward. Thanks for the hint, Clank. 
I'm glad we got you on our side. If you were advising him, we would really be screwed. <laughs> Shoot for the monitors. Monitors are weak spots. God, we're like out of ammo, man, for everything. Uh. All right, spin it up. Let's go. What kind of ammo was that? Negatron? Or no, Black Hole Storm ammo. Wait. Didn't that just say it was Black Hole Storm ammo? What weapon am I using? Oh, the Negatron Collider. That's not what I meant to be using. <laughs> uh, so you like pecan flavor, but big, but not big on pecan texture. That's fair. And honestly, like the taste of pecans aren't even my favorite, but the uh, but pecan pie is just excellent. Like, <laughs> it's such a good mix of uh, of like a. Uh, 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 I don't know how to explain it, but like the 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 sugar syrup that it uses and then coagulates down and whatnot is just so freaking good. Like, okay, I'm just collecting up some ammo. Uh, run away, run away, run away, teleport. Oh man, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're so dead. Like, <laughs> there's no, uh, whatchamacallit around here anywhere. Blaster pistol it is. He's still got 30% health left. We need a switch. Can we switch sides, please? Crap. Crap. <laughs> oh, okay. We got this. Uh, yes, this dimension will get the best of you, you piece of garbage. Okay. Ah, what the hell? Just get all the fun guys out. And bombardiers. Get some bombardiers out. And buzz blades. Let's go. Okay, we're still at full health. So far, so good. We did take a hit, but we collected the uh, the the health. So, so far, so good. Got him down to 68% so far. Shit. That's the one we really got to worry about. Because this one here does 10% of our health. Or 10%? 10 damage to our health. It's just, I don't know why, but I'm having a hard time judging, like, when it's about to hit me and when I need to dodge it. Alright, we're out of ammo for that. Next is, I don't know, go back to the blast pistol. Actually, you know what? I think all of our fungi's gone. So get another fungi down. And then, blast pistol, yeah. Blast pistol is still one of the best weapons I ammo, to be honest. Like, blast pistol is strong as shit, dude. With all the upgrades and everything on it. And it's got a fair amount of ammo. We are like halfway through it, but... Uh... Which way? This way? Oh... Uh, want to know what's less amusing? You shooting me! <laughs> That's getting considerably less amusing. Mr. Nefarious. Alright, blast pistol. We got a total of seven ammo for it. <laughs> All right, so now I guess we have to switch to the Black Hole Storm. Are we are we even shooting anything? Oh, uh, fungi ammo. I'll take it. And shoot. Rootin', shootin', tootin', pootin', guys. Oh, I see, I see ammo. For the gun that I like. Buzz bleed. Right, we still got 60 health though. We're doing alright. Ow. Don't get hit. Hits are bad. Man, we still got a crap ton of ammo for this thing. This thing either doesn't use up much ammo. Or we keep picking up a crap ton for it. And we must be picking up a bunch for it. 
It also takes like time to charge up, so it kind of it's not great when we have to keep dodging like this. I'd much rather use the regular blaster, but we're just not getting much ammo for that though. We did get some buzzblade ammo though, so let's use that in the meantime. All right, 20 some percent. We're getting close. Oh, we're out of ammo again. I don't think the love dude's going to do anything for me. Throw it down anyways. Can we even hit him with this? Oh, come on. Okay. We're doing some damage with the, uh, with the executor. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a little too far away. Okay, so we need to we need to switch off. Uh, we can throw up a bombardier. Get get a little bit of air support. Oh yes, please ammo for that. Buzz blades, let's go. Oh, blaster pistol ammo. Yes, that's the ticket right there. Hold on, we might be good. We might be good. Fifteen percent. Pop your head out, you little dick. All right, blaster ammo. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. Let's go, come on. 12%. Do we have fungi? We do not. Mech boy going down. 10. Uh, out of ammo again. Bruh. <laughs> uh... Black Hole Storm, Black Hole Storm. Ah, oh, man. This weapon just kind of sucks. Oh, okay. One eye down. 5% left. I don't know what kind of ammo that was. Fungal. Fungi ammo. Throw that down. Uh, no. What am I doing? I forget my buttons. <laughs> I'm getting flustered. Throw that down for some backup. And, uh, da -da -da -da. where's the lightning rod? Lightning rod's a good weapon. Well, it, as in, it shoots and does damage. It doesn't have a giant spin-up time. Yes, come on, 2%, 1%. Yes, zero. Is he dead? Is that it? Is it GG? Okay, nope, there must be something else happening. Oh, we're getting sucked in. Uh, run up and give him the final blow. Yes, let's freaking go. I'm trying. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, <laughs> run away. Giant beams of energy everywhere. Uh, teleport me, please. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're literally inside of him now. Literally inside Nefarious. Let's go, boy. Um, okay, we're gonna need some some ground troops here. Let's get some Apocalypse Glove bros. Uh, some Fungi bros. And then focus on firing... At the heart. The heart with a face. <laughs> yes, heart nodes, five of six. Or I guess one of six, technically. Shoot it. Shoot it. Why isn't it blowing up? Blow up. <laughs> Holy crap. Just die. <laughs> are, all my, are all my bros already dead? Holy crap, they didn't last too long. Uh, fun guys. And Apocalypse Gloves. Uh, another Apocalypse Glove. And Executor. He's pretty close. Uh, never mind. I guess we're throwing bombs at him instead. <laughs> Just throw all the bombs. <laughs> nice. Another level up. Okay, I think I need to go to the other side. I don't think we're doing enough uh, damage with this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got to hit the nodes. All right, we need to get some ground troops. Get you down. Get two of you down. Uh, never mind. That's not working. Bombs for days. Let's go. 
blow it up in a blaze of freaking glory, boy. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Uh, Shatter Blast out of ammo. Who cares? Blast pistol. Doesn't matter what it is. Blow this bitch up. Uh, is that it? Oh, no. Okay, the actual heart. The actual heart. Shoot the heart. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fungi. Fungi, do some... Do some damage for me. Uh, we need, we need weapon blast pistol. Let's go, boy. Falling fast. Oh. You ain't got shit on us, Mr. Heart Boy. 30%. We're gonna run out of ammo. Alright, we need another gun. What do we got? Uh, da 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 da. Ooh, ooh, saw blade. Saw blade. Yeah, buzz blades. Let's go. 20%? Dude, he's so fucked. He's so fucked. He can't do shit. Yeah! Uh, Ratchet, you might want to get out, man. Gary? Don't fail us now, Croc bro. I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, you're back before the end of the game, but this is the end of the game. <laughs> uh, Nefarious teleported to our dimension, turned into a giant mech, and we just destroyed the giant mech. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this looks bad. This does not look good, guys. Uh, guys? <laughs> oh, look at him go. Is this the Lombaxes? Oh, no, it's Kit. Kit came back for us. Yes, Kit. Oh, yeah, her and Kit got into a bit of a fight. I forgot there was that, too. <laughs> Let's go, boy. It's hammer time. Uh, I think you mean key time. <laughs> We are Keyblade we Warriors now. Keyblade Wielders. Oh, well, hi, Emperor Nefarious. Uh, I didn't know you were going to suddenly pop up. I'll let uh, some fungi take care of you. Maybe throw down a second one. Get some buzz blades. Oh, ain't nobody scared of you. We didn't have friends before. We have the power of friendship. <laughs> if you don't stop, get smacked in the face. <laughs> Quick, stop smacking me in the face. I'm the hero. You're the villain. You have to die. <laughs> oh. Big rock. Also, ow. You know what we need? We need fun, guys. Somebody to do damage for us because we are having trouble hitting him without... Getting hit yourselves repeatedly. Uh, what is that? That's not a bombardier. I want air support. Dude, the fungi are putting in work, honestly. We do really need to pay a bit more attention to not getting hit, though. <laughs> like. Uh, go away, Mr. Rock Guy. Yup, not happening. Fungi, let go. And then, you know what? Apocalypse Glove. I don't think you're going to come down, but if you do, I wouldn't mind having some, uh, some ground support there, you know? Sounds like the Emperor has an inferiority or complex. You know what? Honestly, you're kind of right. <laughs> it does sound like that. All right, Rivet, just a, uh, a hint here, love. Maybe if you were to freaking hit him with your weapons... It would do some damage. 
Uh, okay, that's out of ammo. We're out of ammo with that. Let's get some air support, I guess. Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. You're not going to be the end of shit, bro. Uh, we do need a little bit of health, though. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, big rock. Wait, did I not just pick up health? Were we lower on health than I thought? Oh, okay. Look, you might be the end of me, but I'll come back, and then we'll beat you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, where are you? Uh, okay. And we got some health at some point, too. That's good. Where art thou, Nefarious? I need you to maybe die? Uh, this seems like an excellent time to use the Executor, not the, not the bombs, as much as I like bombs. Freaking die, bro. Okay, are we supposed to be going somewhere? Oh, no. We're just waiting for him to come back. Ah, oh, Kit's on our side now. We got Kit. What do you got? Mindless robots that hate you? Shit. <laughs> Look, we might die anyways. Even with the power of friendship. I can't see you. Stop moving so much. <laughs> it's really hard to hit you when you're constantly moving around. Oh, we're dead. Oh, no. Somehow we dodged. I don't know how the hell we dodged, but it worked. So we need, I guess, the lightning rod. We just need something that can hit him over range. And the lightning rod seems to kind of lock on, which is very helpful in this situation. Also, uh, stuns him for a moment. A little bit, maybe. Do we have ammo? Mm, we're running out quickly. Uh, a heart and a jabated? I don't, I'm getting mixed signals. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, very heavy incoming. Um, warmonger. Ah, uh, look at Kit go. Kit's a freaking beast, man. Okay. What else do we have, weapon-wise? We have the Void Repulsor, the Shatter Blast. We do have the ex Executor, but he's not really close. Can we hit him with a missile? I feel like, I feel like our aim's not good enough for that shit. <laughs> oh, okay. It's all right. Tr round two. Instantly get hit. Good job. <laughs> Shoot. Ouch. Ouch is right. Alright. It's alright. I believe in us. We know what we're doing now. Let's start with the... Lightning Rod. We just gotta... We gotta pay more attention to dodging. Just gotta live. Thankless, uninspiring dimensions. I mean, I don't know if you know this or not, Nefarious, but you also live in these dimensions. Like, <laughs> you have to live here, too. In one of them, at least. <laughs> you ain't gotta like it, but, like, you're kind of stuck here with the rest of us, bro. Uh, let's get down the Bombardier just to do some, some damage while we focus on dodging and shit. And then, are fungi still up? Nope, fungi are down. Get a fungi up. And then, do we have any more lightning? We do not. Warmonger? We can try. Oh, that actually worked. That did good. We need like a uh, heat seeking missile or something. <laughs> yes, yeah, stay put, stay put. I'm pretty sure we missed like both times, man. <laughs> Uh, the black hole storm takes too long to 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 speed up, to to spin up, I guess. Who was the halftime show? Oh, the halftime show was so good. Mary J. Blige, that's the person. I was uh, I was telling somebody who all was in it the other day, and I couldn't remember her name. But uh, yeah, I'm glad it was good though. That's cool. 
Surprise performance by 50 Cent. Nice. I'm, I still don't quite understand how they planned on keeping it, you know, uh, family friendly, like PG, with all the guys that they had, but I suppose they, they figured it out some way. <laughs> Good for them. Uh, you are not my emperor. Hit him! Just freaking hit him, boy! Okay, dodge. We're out of ammo, aren't we? Did we get any more fun guys? We do have... That was our last fun guy for now. Uh, we might have to go with the blast pistol or something. We are running out of options here. Do we have... Uh, no lightning rod ammo, man. You are not my one true leader. That's the problem. You are just a hunk of freaking junk. Uh, with extra hunk. No. <laughs> I mean, if, if Evil Emperor is your kind of thing, you know. <laughs> evil Emperor with a nice voice. Thank you. I am stuck on this garbage. No, dodge. Ooh, we got more health from somewhere. Very cool. Uh, we're like out of ammo though. We got a bombardier. Air support. I could use some Mr. Fungi ammo. That'd be nice. I guess we're we're down to the blast pistol, man. The blast pistol is a good weapon, but uh, it's one that I actually have to kind of aim. <laughs> and ammo is not, or not ammo, aiming. Aiming is not my strong suit. Where is Nefarious? Where is he? Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Jesus, I'm blind. Do we have, like, bombs? We don't. Okay. But Executor, this is a good, good chance to use it. If you want to, like, I don't know if you're, like, glitched under here or what, but if you want to stay down here where I can hit you easily with the Executor, that's, like, perfectly fine with me, man. <laughs> Because this thing puts out some damage. Where's he at? Stop running, you bastard. Okay, out of ammo on that. We're damn near out of ammo for everything, and I can't see. Uh, Blaster ammo, that's fine, I guess. 18%, come on. Don't fail me now, game. There's a health pack, that... Oh, come in handy. We still got, like, full health. I'm not that worried this time about living. But we are, like, rapidly running out of ammo for all of our weapons that we <laughs> like and use. Uh, so, <laughs> we could run into a problem here soon. He's so small, the blaster pistol is not doing a whole lot because of that. Come on, he's not moving. Just hit him. Shit. Uh, no warmonger. Uh, really don't want to use the black hole storm. That thing takes forever to charge up. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, you want to know what's going to be the end of you? Come on, 9%. 8%. Just die, you bastard. Ricochet? You know what? Yeah, sure. Screw it. Use the ricochet. <laughs> Hit him. Hit him repeatedly. Yes. Keep hitting him. Uh, not the troopers. Drill hound. Oh, nope. The drill hound's not working. It's up in the air. Oh, that's Kit. That's why. <laughs> I was shooting at Kit. My bad, Kit. I didn't mean it, I promise. <laughs> I know we had our, our little spat and all, but we're still friends. Oh, my lord. We're so close. Okay. Come on back. Oh, please, if they don't complain, that really does just show that the Shakir Hattine show was just so they could complain. Honestly, though, fair. Uh, you are no one's beloved emperor. Uh, 
Yeah, you see? We destroyed all of them, Nefarious. Uh, hurry with what? I don't have, like, any weapons. Hold up. Black Hole Storm. Oh, wait. You can get me up there? Let's go, Kit. I believe in you. Toss me, BB. <laughs> Smack him. Yes. Hammer to the face. That's always the answer. G freaking G, Nefarious. Oh, we have you. Oh. <laughs> Say hello to Bubbles. <laughs> Some people's dream, others' nightmare. <laughs> Too late, Nefarious. Ah, poor guy. <laughs> I hope you like tentacles. Oh. Hell freaking yeah, dude. That was dope. Great game. I hope Nate's still here. He said he wanted to see the end. Let's go. Is there post game of us finding the Lombaxes or what? You are still here? Good, good. Hey, the Mort Morts, the Crocodile Dudes, Skid McMarks, and, and, and not Skid McMarks. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry for what I said before. You're my friend. And thank you for coming back. Much better indeed. What is smart COVID testing, Noodle? I guess it's time to go home, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hard to mention could use a couple heroes right about now. Well, Q testing? I mean, okay, that tells me what it's called, but what's smart about it? I think you know. Ah, it's us. We're fireworks, man. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Too fuzz, too nefarious. Oh my god. That's cheesy as hell. <laughs> oh lord. That was a freaking amazing game, man. So good. So good. A lot of fun. Um, Do y'all... I mean, not tonight. Because we ain't got time tonight. But uh, first and foremost, next week we'll be... Or starting next week, we'll be playing games on Saturday instead of Sunday. Although Sunday night will still be the Just One More Level podcast, which don't forget everybody, we are doing the Just One More Level podcast tonight. We'll be doing Kingdom Hearts at least, and maybe Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I don't know if uh, the Dorseman had time to get around to that. Um, but yeah, starting next week, we're going to be playing whatever game we're completing on Saturdays instead of Sundays. And... Uh, but yeah, do you guys want to see me complete this game? Like, to go through and collect everything? Or should I do that in my off time while uh, we play other stuff on stream? I'm totally down for either one. Honestly, I think it would be better to do it off stream. Um, but if people wanna would want to see it, then that's fine too. If there's any like major post-game story stuff or whatever, um, then obviously I'll include that. But... Yeah, I, I agree with Rue for the most part. I think it's time to move on to another game. And, uh, and yeah. Yeah, do something else next week, man. I still haven't decided what game exactly. 
Uh, I know Nate wants to see DMC, which uh, is a game that I do want to complete. But I'm not positive if I'm ready for that challenge yet. <laughs> but maybe, maybe. It's definitely going to be something PS2 related because of the whole PS2 gauntlet thing. But I don't know what game exactly yet. And then uh, after that, we're probably going to go back a generation and do a PS1 game. Do uh, Resident Evil 3, I I've been thinking, but... Just because I, I want to play the other Resident Evil games at some point, and I, uh, I refuse to play them out of order. <laughs> You believe in me, Nate? Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I know I'll be able to do it. I just don't know how many times y'all are going to watch me fighting the same boss over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Unless I turn it down to easy mode, but if I turn it down to easy mode, I'll just feel bad <laughs> about myself. <laughs> this art is really cute. There is a Ratchet and Clank movie, too. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but there is a Ratchet and Clank movie. As far as video game movies go, it's pretty decent. It's not Sonic the Hedgehog, but it's still pretty good. And it kind of tells the... Uh, it's a retelling of the origin story for, for Ratchet and Clank. Um, it's a for the first game, like how they met up in their first adventure and whatnot. It doesn't follow the first game exactly. It is like a reimagining of it, but yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. And uh, it's a it's a bargain... Uh, been movie like I, I forget exactly how much I paid for mine but I know it wasn't a whole lot my copy of it you may even be able to find it on a streaming service or something it's I don't know for sure if it's on any of them but you know maybe maybe movie was really good one of the best animated game movies I mean that's a very specific genre of movie <laughs> and in that case yes I agree with you <laughs> I can only think of three animated game movies off the top of my head that is doom oh no uh well doom wasn't animated though was it nope no neither was mortal kombat there's sonic which was good there's ratchet and clank mario movie wasn't animated although there will be a mario movie here soon with chris pratt as the voice of mario we'll see how that turns out uh are there any other animated game movies final fantasy 7 Whatever the hell it was called. I forget the full name of it. But that didn't follow the game exactly or anything. It was uh, just another story in that universe. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. IMO. Yeah, I'm struggling to think of any, <laughs> any other ones. Yeah, there was a live action Mario, but it wasn't animated. And it was terrible. <laughs> it was very, very bad. You've seen some crappy 90s stuff, early 2000s stuff, but you can't remember exactly. I know there was a few animated shows for video games back in the day, but I can't think of any movies even, man, to be honest with you. I'm sure they existed, but I just can't think of them. Might have been shows you were thinking of? Yeah, maybe. Thank you for joining us on this interdimensional adventure, guys. Thank you all for joining me on my playthrough of this uh, interdimensional adventure. I appreciate you all, so thank you. The art is adorable. The art is very adorable, man. When are me and Dorsman doing our thing? We start uh, between 12 and 12.30 is when we start the podcast. This game was awesome. It really is. It really is. Whenever all of y'all get a chance to get a PS5, I highly suggest it. Very, very good, man. Also, Emperor Nefarious is singing us a song. I'm going to turn it up a little bit for y'all. Now I want a musical featuring Nefarious. Like, <laughs> I want a, uh, a Broadway show here. Bruh, I actually kind of love this.
Look at me and my flawless schemes. The kind you could never dream up in your dreamiest of dreams. You're hopping off. You'll be back for the podcast. This is interesting music. Thank you for being here, Nate. I appreciate it, man. I'll see you then. So freaking hot. There's a Lord of the Rings show on Prime. Yes, it's not out yet. I don't believe. But yes. You'll be heading off as soon as the credits are done. You got a research paper you got to work on, so you won't be back for later. But have fun on your podcast. We will, uh, Ruth. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for being here while you could. You think it is out now, Noodle? I know they released a trailer not too long ago, but I didn't think it actually came out yet. We'll have to uh, we'll have to double check because I do really, really, really want to watch it when it comes out. All right, if the uh, if the Broadway musical section is done, then we can skip the rest of the credits. I think <laughs> there was just a commercial for it. Yeah, but they might have just been hyping it up for for then. Congratulations, you have completed the main story. You have unlocked challenge mode. Keep all of your weapons and play through a harder version of the game to get new weapon upgrades and earn more bolts with the bolt multiplier. Create a new challenge mode playthrough at any time from the title menu. Would you like to go back in time before the final fight to finishing remaining activities? Uh, we'll continue to title menu because we're not playing any more of it now, but I will be doing that on my own time. We are going to be signing off, guys. Again, thank you one more time, Rue and everybody else, for joining me tonight. Uh, for anybody who can make it, I hope to see you for the podcast. It's going to be a lot of fun talking about Kingdom Hearts and maybe Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Of course, if you do miss it, we do release the podcasts on Wednesday at 5 in the morning on YouTube and various other platforms. So you're welcome to check it out there as well. Thank you again, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And maybe Mr. New, I don't know. Like I said, we'll have to, we'll have to look into it. <laughs> Torso. Do we have to like chop open a dude and, and, and find some, some secrets in his innards? It's a little gross, man. Someone's get... Someone was getting close to my number one spot. <laughs> no, sometimes I need to find you. Uh I guess.